Just like this. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. <sighs> oh my gosh. What you typed got lost. I believe it. This chat is like an elevator sometimes. Okay, let me ping the, uh, the just a gaming role. Just gaming. Starting Doki Doki Literature Club Plus right now. And then you got to react to your own post to get the party going. See, just like that. You get a couple of those. You get a sell in hype emote. You get a, you get a sell in capybara emote. And that will certainly get the party going. Thank you. That ping really happens quick. It does, eh? All right, let's go live on YouTube and start this. I'm very, very excited. Oh, God, please. Con, you literally, there was a level 10 hype train. You had lit, you had literally, you just lit. <laughs> just give it a second. Uh, hey, um, just give it a second. No, you're an elevator. Thank you for the 900. Thank. That is really, truly something. I, honestly. Did Todd get a facelift? That's HD Todd. Yeah, we have like a, there's like a one in four chance of Todd being HD. Yeah, very uplifting. Hi, Todd. You know what? We haven't seen you in a couple streams. I kind of love you. Okay, I'm starting on YouTube literally the second he slides away. And don't you dare call him back because so help me God. Okay, three, two. Fucking get your arm out of there, Todd. Literally. Come on. Todd, his elbow. Okay, starting. Done. Starting. Okay, we're live on YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Okay, so. Hi, Paul Nomad. Welcome to the stream. Are we good? Are we good? We want Todd. Oh, please. Okay. Are we good? I was hoping that would be the first thing YouTube saw. Suckers. Suck. Jesus Christ. What's happening with my fingers, yo? Okay, well, now that's the first thing that YouTube saw. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so uh, as per usual, this is a game that we're playing on this channel. It is called Doki Jesus Christ. <laughs> Murderbird, thank you so much for the seven months. You guys, people are gonna unsubscribe from the Just Gaming ping, okay? Hi, Bo. Exclamation point trigger. This game is very heavy, apparently. Sel Selena, it's Doki Jesus Christ Plus. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a positive experience playing this game, all right? Okay. All right. Apparently Chad is already disturbed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky enough that I don't really need, I'm someone who doesn't really need trigger warnings for things. Yeah. But look, it's so cute. We're all going to have fun together. We're all going to have fun together. Don't worry. If you're nervous, uh, we can all hold toes. Ah, what do we have here? Would you? A little streamer, eh? Is it suitable for people who believe in Santa? Yes. Uh, would you like to review detailed content warnings which contain spoilers? Alternatively, in-game content warnings can be enabled. No. I'm gonna go ahead and say no and hope that you guys can just, you know, kind of monitor yourselves and, and keep yourselves account, right? I, I think we're just gonna go with no. I think we'll survive. Yeah, if you feel like it's getting too heavy, remember that you are in control of the content that you consume. Right? Okay, no. Playing Do if by playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you have noted the game's age rating in your region and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Jesus Christ, though. No, like seriously, though. You mean it's by choice? It's my choice to be here. Why are the doors locked? Don't talk about that. I have a painting of grudge on my wall. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be okay. Hi, factory of horrors. Uh, I agree. Okay, so wait, hold on. What is the? What is the? What is the? 
Ooh, 17 plus. Yikes. Literally says in the corner here, we got a physical copy here. Shout out to Cyrix. Serenity Forge, thank you. Gifting me this. Okay, sure. Yeah, I completely agree. Let me know how it looks, sounds, smells. Let me know how it... Yeah. I am not in control of the content I can see. See, look at how happy the music is, guys. Look, ooh. Whoa. All of this for a game about reading great literature. Oh, the classics, the classics. Oh, um, um, I think Oprah's biography is on here. It's, you know. Yeah, if the music is any kind of indication of what we should expect here, I think we're in for a good ride, yeah. Is there still a don't forget you're here lever alert? No, there is not. That was our gift sub alert and we no longer have it. We switched it. It's probably on Blurp though. What kind of video game is this? Hi Hector, welcome in. Apparently it's a very heavy game with sexy anime waifus. This started as a free game on itch.io. It's come a long way. Really? Nothing bad can happen? Absolutely, Masa. Nothing bad can happen. Oh, also, yeah, this is free on Epic right now. I'm not sponsored or anything, but apparently it's free on Epic. Okay, here we go. New game. Do, 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 do. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. It just it just cuts out the music like that, eh? Okay, well, uh, what name should we give ourselves? Should we just call should we just call ourselves Selena? Should we just Todd? Are you ready for sexy anime adventure? Yes. Should Todd or like sexy? I love the artist who worked on this game, although I've never actually played this game myself. Hmm. Is this on console? Yeah, this is on the Switch. Tell him Selena sent you and she gets a huge cut of that zero dollars. Yeah. Ooh, Doki Lena is cute. Dennis Rod. D Dinky. Dinky Doki. Sexy with two X's. Can you weebify the name Selena? Sel Sel Selena? Selena. Can we do that? Dimitri. Gretel. You, you want me to name the character Gretel? Based on just the title, which waifu are you going for? Uh, you know what? I think it was the one with the skirt. Wait, they were all wearing skirts, weren't they? So, 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 Wina. Is that cute enough? Uwu? Sell Wiener. Oh, come on, please. Carlos the Jackal. Skirt waifu is best. Sawina. So oh, so I shouldn't have the, the, the L there? Sawina. So Saliwina, Saluwu, Saluwu is good too. Saluwu, Sawina. Salwiners, Uwu Lina. Sawina sounds like something the 9,000 dragon shapeshifted, uh, like the 9,000 dragon shapeshifted into a little child would say. Siwina. Sorry, brain farted while typing. No, you're fine. You're fine. Selena is the other is the other Selena that didn't get Selena. Oh no! Okay, well hold on a second. Let's let's sell sell Selly hi yeah. Oh my God, hi Selena. Ooh, did you start drawing me as an anime waifu? That looks really good. That looks really good, not Selena. We can at least listen to the music while the vote is happening. Saluwu? Saluwu is cute. How about so Sawaii? So like kawaii? 
such great choices, right? Okay, it looks like Sal Saluwu is Saluwu is winning. All right. Sell uwu, and then you guys are gonna play the uwu alert every single time she shows up, right? Every time the name comes up. Hi, Xi Apple fan. How are you? Shervik is prepping for the eventual body pillow merch. Oh God. Sell sell why? Sell why is cute too. Okay, it looks like we're going with this. I always worry when polls happen because I know we tie it. Wow, nobody likes selly selly uwu, but you guys like saluwu. All right, that's fine. Sell PP, yeah, that's a good one. Accept. Saluwu sounds closer to Cthulhu than Selena to me. I like it though, it's good. Not going to wait for the absentee votes for high Selena. <laughs> can we change this anytime? We can change this anytime, right? Yes, yeah, smile times, it's finally happening. What do you know about this game other than it's heavy? That's all I know. That's it. Hey! How do I navigate? History, skip, auto, save, load. How do I... Am I supposed to use that menu yet? A. Okay. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. It's me! That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've already, you've known each other for so long. Wow. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. Oh no, here comes the depression themes. You know what, guys? We all made it out of bed today, probably, unless there's some of you still in bed, in which case, hey, that's totally fine. You opened your eyes at least, right? That's something. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. My desk is my bed, basically. You even put pants on? Paul, you put pants on? Shit. Who else has pants on? Type a seven if you have pants on. I'm actually a bed. Okay, Lotus, do you have people on top of you? You know what, don't answer that. She's just a dum-dum, that's why she sleeps so long. Okay, all right. Hi, homeless mudflap, how are you? Hi, hi, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, you guys wanted me to give them voices. I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Wait, shit, is this my voice? Oh, this is Saluru talking. Oh, fuck. She looks like she's throwing a fit. Look at her greater than and less than eyes. Look at this. Hey, oh, she's Canadian. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Saluru. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. As if, please. Fine, fine, but you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Ehehehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. Oh, so I'm also the narrator here. How's the audio, by the way? Sounds good? You guys are hearing the little, the little music? Do, 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 do. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Saluwu, have you decided to join, have you decided on a club to join yet? Ooh, you guys, any, you guys part of any high school clubs? Thank you, thank you for the feedback. A club? Ooh -woo. Ooh woo! I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Hey, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. 
You were in a TV club? Huh? The Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. I'm in the Canada Club. I did. I actually was part of an anime club, but we we didn't we didn't really watch things. We it wasn't a very active club. I vaguely remember being part of some kind of a like this was in like grade eleven. Like I vaguely stage crew and also robotics team and volunteered at cable access TV station. What? That explains a lot. Yeah, my secret love of anime. Not an official club, but they called my group the Black Cauldron Crew because we were all super emo and doing dangerous things all the time. Oh yeah, the group I hung out with, everyone just assumed we were like on drugs or something, but we weren't. We were super straight edge. That was the, that was the, the juxtaposite, that was the irony. We were all dressed in black and absolutely super terrifying, but we were just so nice. Did I? I'm sure it's possible if I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Aww. Math club nerd here? Oh, if there was a math club, I totally would have been there, Kyle, for sure. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on gams and ga on gams. On gams and m and Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Aww. Gams. <laughs> pro gamma. Is anybody in chat a pro gamma? It doesn't, but I love saying this explains a lot to make people uncomfortable. Sheesh. Gams. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Ooh, that's so fun, Kyle. That's awesome to learn about you. That's exciting. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a club. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? I'm a programmer. Don't know if that helps. It definitely helps, Rorschach. Thank you again for your kind words. I appreciate it. Have a gooder. Pro, we got some pro gammas here and pro grammars here. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does extravagant, ex exaggerate everything inside of her head. Wow, there's a lot of reading in this game. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Oh no. Oh no, am I the depressed one? Oh no. I'm a procrastinator. All this game is reading, it's a visual novel. What? Are you guys kidding me right now? What? What did I? No, don't worry, I knew it's fine. I'm just a very good actor. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sarah wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Oh god, she just fucking appears out of nowhere. Jesus. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Yeah, it's called acting. <laughs> I look around and realize that I'm not the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I just saw you sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. I need to take in the visuals. It looks really good. It looks really clean. It looks real. Damn, it's so, so close, Kroby. Give her the Oscar now. Yeah, please. Oscar, please. Oscar, please. I've used my one for asking for money during stream. I've already used it during the level 10 hype train. So from now on, it's just going to be Oscars. Oscar, please. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement. So I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori, yeah, there is no way I'm going to your club. Wait, does this does this girl literally have a club of her own? Hey, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. Yeah, can I get an ooh, ooh, ooh Oscar? Ooh, ooh, wow, ooh, wow, Oscar? Think of it like Sayori instead of Sayori. Sa Sayori? 
Uwu. 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 Sayori. I'm writing it down. Uwu. Is this Mean Girls? Yeah. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed. Who, pr who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care oh, so much? What do we have here? A little streamer, eh? <laughs> Saori. 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 Thank you guys for the bits. I appreciate it. Thank you for the snapshot. Why do you care so much anyways, says Saluwu. Well... Thank you. I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Ooh. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Ee-hee-hee-hee-hee. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sa Saori... Saori? Sorry. Is it like sorry? Is it like Sa Saori? No one says it like that. Everyone says Sayori. Is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning, I almost misread that word, as to have planned all of this out. <sighs> Thanks, Up Over and Gone, I appreciate it. It comes natural to the Canadian tongue. It does, yeah. You're supposed to pronounce the Y. Say, sa Sayori. I let out a long sigh. Should I just, you know what? Every time we say her name, we'll just do this. We'll just do, because there's so much controversy already, we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do this. Sayori. Where's Sorry, it's pronounced <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go. Maybe it's jizz And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Sayori, thank you, Masa. Legend. Can I come visit Japan? YouTube commenting already. This is, this is a re, there's no difference between a remake and a remaster, guys. Just like how there's no difference between Doki Doki Literature Club and Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, okay? There's no, the difference is literally an addition symbol. That's it, okay? <laughs> and thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly followed story across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. So I, <laughs> Sa Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. Why did I do that? Why did I? Let's get a take two. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Hey, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club, says girl one. For some reason, with her hands clasped behind her back as to make herself appear more bustier than she is. It's a pleasure meeting you. Uh, Sai. Sai, you're A? Exactly. Ooh, woo. Ah, what do we have here? A little streamer, eh? <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hey, so you're. It's just a, a biohazard issue. I, you know, we've had a passenger who had diary all the way through the airplane, so they wanted to come back to Atlanta. <laughs> Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Wait, am I a... Oh my god, am I a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh no. Wait, am I... I'm confused. Ah, Saluwu, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Wow. This... Oh my god, this was like that one Ooh. time that we were playing Super Metroid and we found out that Super Metroid was actually was actually was actually a boy <laughs> sorry do you guys remember that game yeah all words escape me in this situation Sai, you're e. yes, Lee. you guys are fucking unhinged today like you guys are as like never change obviously and i'm having a lot of fun but like can i just say like i don't know if it's like is it like is it like the, the is what is it 
What is it? Is it like the curls and the hair? It's what is it? Is it the fact that you can see the guitar? Was it the lights? It was the lights. It was the lights. It was the tiny little string lights that I hung behind me. The candy on the floor is the candy on the floor. I got it. It's mer Mercury is in a retrograde. Yeah, I think it's mer Mercury is in a retrograde. Yeah, totally the new setting, right? Oh no, it doesn't, Kirby, it doesn't work on this scene. It only works on this. It only works on this one, mister. No, 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 it is, that's the- Chad has lost his mind. You guys have lost your mind. Every single one of every you. Every single one, every single. Mercury is in Gatorade. No, don't kick her. Oh my God. Mercury is in Gatorade right now. My fucking typo. No, it's actually a meme. People meme on it all the time. They make TikToks where they're talking about Mercury being in like a uh, like Gatorade or something. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Uh, s s sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her, makes her look like a first year student. Whoa, assumptions. It's hilarious, Amy. Thank you. No, the joke was great. It gave me great content for 20 seconds to riff off of. Thank you. She is also the one who made the cup cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyways, that is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Oh, uh, look at their little, like, look at the way that they, like, draw their hands and their hair. Look at that. Do you guys play with your hair when you get nervous? Do you guys, if you have belly, if you have hair to your belly button, do you play with your hair when you get nervous? Oh. Right? What hair? Okay. Your treasure trail hair. Do you ever just like run your fingers through your treasure trail hair? Do you ever just like wax everything else but leave the treasure trail so it actually doesn't lead to anything? You like, you lose the, you lose the trail. Like you lose the trail. You're like, oh my God, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go with this thing. I have no I play with my belly button when I get nervous and I moan a little. I don't have any hair because I'm bald. I thought we were all bald in here. I've only ever seen the Doki Doki DLC, so this should be an interesting time. Yeah, honestly. I play with my earlobes like they're a set of loose dangling calamari rings hanging off each side of my head. Oh my god, that is so great for you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I play with my fingernails. I play with my f Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. I tend to shut the fuck up when I get nervous, do you? Do you? I probably tend to mumble some nonsense. Feet, I heard it, sorry. You're what? Holy shit, is there that much lag or are you guys only reacting to my joke just now? Okay. We're gonna do a lag test. I clip my toenails and then bend them to see if I've been drinking enough milk. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna do a lag test. Please type the number eight. Okay, that took like three seconds. Okay, no, 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 sorry, one more time, one more time. Chris here from Serenity Forge. Whoa, whoa, guys, wait, wait, wait. Wizdorf, Chris here from Serenity Forge. Thank you so much for checking out Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Yo, Wizdorf, did we meet at PAX? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Cyrix gifted this to me. I I met him two years ago at PAX, and then we we got to, I got, I went to the booth uh, in PAX 2023 as well. Thank you so much, Wizdorf. Everyone, say hi to Wizdorf. Say hi to Serenity Forge, Chris. Did we meet back in PAX at, at 1496? That was you. Please make them feel as welcome as possible. Thank you. Selene only has a two year lag of playing this game. Yeah, this was gifted to me two packs ago. Look at this, thank you. Look at this, beautiful. Thank you. <sighs> Kyle, thank you so much. Thank you for gifting out a sub to Wizard. No ads for you, mister. All right. Well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Ooh, Monica with a K. Ooh, fortune time. 
Are we gonna scare Serenity Forge Chris? I think we might. <clears throat> You can get rid of your cat allergy by eating a pound of cat hair with each meal. Every 10 subs on this stream, I read out. Sorry, people are still typing number eights. <laughs> Every 10 subs on this stream, I read out a fortune as written by my mom. Hi, Saul, how are you? We enjoying hanging out with the literature club? Yeah, we literally just started. Hi, Viddy, how are you? Hi, YouTube, say hi to YouTube, everyone. We're also streaming on YouTube. That was pretty tame, actually. Yeah, you guys were—you guys are so responsible today. It's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, that was actually very hinged. You want to put your dick? Ah! In your <laughs> what the? <laughs> so exclamation point trigger warning! Tr exclamation point trigger! If you want to read about Jesus Christ, it's fine. We're not sponsored, guys. We're not. So you know what? Do your worst, honestly. During a sponsored segment, we have to be Christian, but. It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? I know, thank you so much for the 900, but thank you, Kroby. Thank you, thank you. That's right, it's great to see you again, Saluwu. YouTube doesn't know, I haven't figured out a bot for it yet. I haven't, no. If anyone knows a good YouTube bot, please let me know. So far, the alerts are the most scandalous part of the stream. It's true, yeah, no, you're right. That's my foot. I don't like you have nothing. You have dark and dark. You basically have nothing. You know, it's like in life. You've got to have a little sadness once in a while so you can know when the good times come. I'm waiting on the good times now. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same nothing class last year. Lips. Matt's foot is 201. Matt's foot is oh, more expensive. A little streamer, eh? <laughs> Matt's foot is more expensive than mine. You guys should know this. He's got beautiful dancer feet. Monica was probably the most popular gir girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Oh, she's talking about you, chat. He's, oh, sorry. He's talking about you, chat. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... It, you, 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 you too, Monica. Come sit down, Salou. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Oh, God, that kind of person, eh? Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? What kind of a fucking school is this? They've got cupcakes and tea? What, do they got access to, like, a lounge? They have a kettle and I don't? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Oh. Oh my God, do we have to pick? Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Oh, come on. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Woohoo! Uh, Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Hi, Juan Garcia. Welcome in. Burrito, thank you. Nice seeing you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, YouTube. Wistorf, thank you so much for gifting us. Thank you for paying it forward. Thank you for gifting out to lights. Appreciate it. I think Wistorf wants to hear another perfectly hinged fortune from my mom. I think that's... The other one wasn't, wasn't unhinged enough. I get it. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sayori walks with uh, her mouth full and has, already, and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good! Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did. Uh, Sayori said, well, maybe, but not 
for, you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Atsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. <laughs> Sherevik, thank you. Flickering light bulb. Is there a flickering light bulb? Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Yeah, that was my question. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, yeah, I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. <laughs> See, Pancake, thank you for gifting out a sub to Cupcake Liquor. If cupcakes could just be all icing, that would be pretty good. That would be, that would be pretty good. If it could be like icing, bread, icing, bread. Do you guys know of anything like that that exists? Is this some kind of like a... Like, but it's still in a cup. It's a, it's like a layer cake. Mm, I've never heard of it. Like a cake, never heard of that. Cupcake feck. Excuse me, Kyle? I used to eat Pillsbury frosting with a spoon and it tasted like liquid yucky. Lucky Charms. Oh my God, do you guys remember toaster strudels? Pillsbury toaster strudels? And you would literally eat the, you would use like three or four icing packs per strudel and then you would be left over with like five strudels and you wouldn't, are you, and then you wouldn't have enough icing at the end. Fuck yes. Link, how are you? Welcome in. Oh my God. Sorry, I also noticed the camera is crooked. Just give me a second chat. <laughs> Link, are you ready for hot anime waifus? I just eat the pack, the, the icing packs only, same. It's good to see you, hello. Back with the living, yes, out of the hospital. Out of the hospital. Toaster strudels and fun diff both had that problem, yes, seriously. You should try them, Extreme Apple fan. Hi, potato. I believe you, says Saluwu. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I was born ready for hot anime waifus. You got it. You got it, mister. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I got pressured. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? <laughs> Kroby, thank you for gifting out a sub to hot anime waifu. I appreciate it. We are four meme subs away from another fortune. CST represent, let's go. So what made you, con what made you consider the thing? Peer pressure and threats. Khan, thank you for gifting out a sub to lick my cupcakes. <clears throat> Empty. I bet the Tomb Raider dev and publisher won't come into chat, so this wins. Yeah! We got Chris from Serenity Forge! So freaking cool. I was debating tagging you guys, but then I didn't want it to seem like I was sponsored or something. So I really appreciate you guys coming by. Did I end up, did I end up tagging? I don't think I did. I think I sent the tweet while I was on the toilet and I didn't think about it. These meme sub names are hilarious. See, Pancake, thank you for gifting out to Sayuri and Sayori Waifu for Life from Kroby. Thank you. Thank you. And cream filling, and there goes another fortune. Thank you. We do a lot of chatting here, by the way. We do a lot of, this game might normally take people like one stream to finish. It might take me like five, honestly. Okay, you, you are, you, Link, Khan, Warzy, what is, what just happened? Are they gonna eat my butt? What in the frickin? Are they gonna eat my butt? Cyric sent me, he's the best, he really is. Are they gonna eat my butt? That is ridiculous. Are they gonna eat my butt? Let's give it a Guys, try. thank you so much. Thank you, Link, for the 10 bomb. Thank you for helping me hit my sub goal for the day, everyone. Meme, meme accounts are not. Okay, so now we get two fortunes. 
Product received for free, but legit no pressure. In fact, she put it off for two friggin' years. I really did. I really, seriously, I got this for free. PAX 2020, 2022, my first PAX ever. And I was recognized for my viral Navi alert that got me published in Dexerto. Can you, that's, that's my meeting story with Serenity Forge. Isn't that crazy? And then I was, I was given something. Isn't that crazy? <clears throat> you are notorious in your social circle for pooping in flower pots. Okay. All right. Okay. Final fortune. Well, if we go over, we hit, we go into the, the vault. It is important to eat lots of vegetables, but if you don't eat vegetables because they look like alien penises, that's okay too. I legitimately have no idea how I read this, honestly. This is my writing. You guys getting that? Are you? Nintentom, enjoy your gifted sub. That's a feature, not a bug. Yeah, I don't have a printer here, so. Thank you so much, guys, thank you. Are you whispering into the mics of the other offices don't hear? No, I'm not embarrassed. Hi, Maliaki, hi, M Malikai. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm not surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Were you a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing around about budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'm picturing Link as just a head in Futurama style head in a jar now, right? He's getting there. He typed in chat that he's, he's getting there. He's getting there, which uh, that would be honestly a cool thing, but. That argue, that's arguably worse than my handwriting and mine is pretty damn bad. Okay, listen, first time chatterer. Listen, l listen here for, guys, I didn't try. I, I obviously, I didn't try. I just like, I like closed my eyes, you know, is whatever, like all this pressure, holy shit. Oh my God, hi Hall. I'd much rather take something, something, I'd, I'd rather, I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really, I almost read it as Monka. If Link was in a jar, Selena could put him on the shelf behind her. Yeah, did you guys see this? I'm trying to fill this shelf over here. But I put LED lights behind it, okay? I didn't try Selena 2024, honestly. Monica really is a great leader. Uh, Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. It's true. It's like starting streaming for the, it's true. It's true. You guys, are we kind of part of a club? That's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Not many people are very interested in putting in all the effort to start something brand new. It's, it's true. It's very hard. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Preach! Pre- But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow to, to gr grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these, just these three. Uh, maybe that's why we're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Salubu, what kinds of things do you like to read? Oh god, this is so awkward. This is so awkward. No thoughts. I may have to read this later when 251 people are watching me for the fortunes. Yes. Yep, yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Good night, Vanguard. Thank you for hanging out. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Yeah, cereal boxes? Ma manga? I like to read chat. Yeah, I'm really good at reading chat. I'm really good at reading chat and cereal boxes and um, expiry dates on yogurts. 
I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without even... I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, how about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Oh, God. Yeah, just like that, eh? Just... My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually uh, immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Uh, hi you fall, I laugh, how are you? Found you through the Ocarina and Majora Masks VODs on YouTube, been watching them every day. This is my first time watching a stream. Everyone say hi to you haul you fall, you fall, I laugh. That's a hilarious name, first of all. Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming over from YouTube. I am streaming live on YouTube as well. I do stream on the VOD channel. You fall, I laugh, I love it, it's so funny. Welcome in, that is so nice of you to say. I'm glad you're enjoying the playthroughs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror, says Natsuki. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind, says Natsuki. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Interjects Monica with her fists clasped like this. What? Says Natsuki. What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! And give that back. Fine, fine. Eehehe, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh god, she's not having any of it. That's hilarious. Sayori siddles, uh, siddles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! <laughs> Chat! Ch take me seriously! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Siddle, Siddles? S-I-D-L-E-S. Siddles. Siddles? Siddles. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Siddles. It's not a phase, mom. I'm just like super fucking cute. Natsuki averts her eyes. You, you wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Oh, so it's Siddles. Siddles. Thanks, chat. I'm trying my best, okay? Hi, uh, Drobsten. Thank you for coming in and collecting your gifted sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, si Sidles. Oh, I love that. I've heard it both ways. Yeah, I've definitely heard it Siddles. 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 Thank you, Kroby. Thank you so much. Search for Siddles on Bing, and it's like, do you mean Google Slides? Yeah, 100%. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We, we all sit in silence for a minute. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Question mark? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. Oh, Salu's is gonna be dark as shit, isn't it? It's gonna be like fire burns as hot as sun. My heart is in the pits of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Sidles. What is that from, Todd? It's, um... I 
Okay, so I no longer have the whiteboard because I erased it, but at one point during, I'm pretty sure getting over it stream, I was just like, chat, if anyone in chat has testicles, could is it possible to wash them in a bowl? And people would be like, Selena, how would you wash testicles in a bowl? And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna draw it for you. So I pulled out my whiteboard and I started drawing it. I started drawing what it would look like if somebody with testicles were to dip them into a bowl and then wash them. And then I like drew their hands by this and then their legs stretched out and then their hands by their side. Anyways, it became this like grotesque monster because I can't draw. Okay, and we ended up naming him Todd. And then Lynn, that's drawn by Lynn, someone from the community. And now we have Todd as an alert. I literally drew, I was just like, well, yeah, cause then you would, you would put your legs like this and you would dip your balls down in here. And then you would put your hands over like this. And I just, and honestly, and now it's an alert for 969, yeah. And we added the Microsoft David or whatever, at like the, like the slowest speed you possibly can for the TTS. That's the story. Yeah. Don't worry, don't be afraid to ask about inside jokes on the stream chat. I will explain in full detail. Anyways, that's yeah, that's Todd. That's Todd from IT. That's Todd. Thank you. Who the hell? What? <laughs> that's some deep lore. I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I literally drew someone spreading it and dipping the bra. So okay, so okay, this is also part of the lore. Actually, I can't show it on stream because Twitch had the uh, the nudi the artist nudity. They allowed it for like a day and then they removed it. But literally, you can't see it because it's too far below the screen. But there is literally there is a, there is a, he is washing his testicles. He has them in a bowl. Yeah, it's cut off though. It's very tastefully cut off. Yeah, so if you wanna see the full image, you have to join the Discord. Yeah, so there's there's some wrinkly things in a bowl there. Yeah, yeah, but we can't show it. Making sure. We showed it like once during stream because like the artistic, and then they removed it so we can't show balls. Yeah. See the original footage in the 2023 recap on YouTube. Yes. We tastefully cut off Todd's testicles, yes. Selena, guys wash their balls exclusively in the shower or bath. We don't like randomly wash our balls in the middle of the day, but what if you're going for like a quick fuck? Sorry. And you don't have access to a shower or a tub. Speak for yourself, yeah. Like it gets, it gets stanky down there. You guys gotta take, take it. Practice washing it in a bowl because you never know. Honest to God, you never know. Or Axe Body Spray, please, for the love of God, don't do that. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um, yeah, let's do it. Plus now we have a new member. I think it will help us get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. I like you, Monica. It's called a quick rinse. Yeah, but you need, you need soap and then you need to like take them and wring them out, right? That's how it works. Or squeegee them, right? You can squeegee your, I forgot. Somebody told me that they can do that. Isn't that right, Saluwu? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem, says Saluwu. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth Ooh. with what's been on my mind the entire time. Oh God, here we go. I never said I would join this club. The music should have fucking stopped then. The music and the girls should have been like, <gasps> Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. Oh God, I'm saying this out loud. Oh my God. I still have other clubs to look at and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls still ba stare back at me with dejected eyes. Can you imagine disappointing four women at the same time? Does anybody have any experience with that? Anybody? But I'm so sorry, I thought, hmm, I don't have to imagine. <laughs> Saluwu, you all, you, I'm, def I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? Oh my God, look at them. Look at eight. I've disappointed my wife, my mother, my mother-in-law and a restaurant server all at once. Oh God, what did you order? What did you? I've disappointed way more than four. It's just been one at a time, right? That's what I was asking. I don't know if anyone has had a qua, a qua, a qua, a sum, a qua, a quad, a sink, a sink, a sum, a sink, a sink, sum. Un, dos, tres. That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right, okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Yay! A sink a sum, a sexy, yeah, pe pentagon. Yeah, haven't, haven't any of you ever been in a sexy pentagon before? 
One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed, says Nasuki. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember today's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Saluwu, I look forward to hearing how you express yourself. Ee-hee-hee-hee. -hee. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. I once went to a restaurant, and when we went to order, I said to the waiter, I'm Yisu, but you can call me Captain Ravioli. And everyone at the table looked at me like, what is that? Don't do that. And I've been riding that high ever since. <laughs> oh no. All right, whatever you say, Captain Ravioli. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Saluwu, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. I like the screen swiping. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Oh god, is this gonna be like Bachelor? Bachelorette number one. You ordered mozzarella sticks? My god. Woohoo! thank you for gifting out a sub to Captain Ravi Ravioli. Do you guys remember those Chef Boyardee cans? You would come home from school, you'd reach into the cupboard, open up one of those Chef Boyardee cans with your bare hands, or a can opener, whatever. Plop it upside down in a pot, heat it up on medium. Five, ten minutes, delicious. Will I really be happy spending every day after school at the literature club? Is there any other kind of ravioli? No, there's literally only Chef Boyardee. Shoji can tell you of Chef Boyardee, Selena. Oh yeah? You're supposed to open the can. Yeah, do you guys, are you, have you guys been putting that whole can in the pot? The uniforms look so good, completely agree. Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Ulterior motives. Wouldn't the can explode? No, if you're only if you're a coward and you're not trying hard enough. Five to 10 minutes, who has that time? I just throw that shit in the microwave. Everything tastes better to me when it's not microwave. It has to be like heated in the oven or on a frying pan always. I just put the can in the microwave. Can't figure out why it keeps catching fire though. Hmm. They're not suppositories. Holy shit, how big is your anus? What's the point if your food doesn't sliver out of a can in can shape? I think you're right. Hi, Tethered. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh God, it's gonna be very dark, isn't it? How cute, no. Oh my God, we actually have to write it? It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member were like. Something good might happen with whomever likes your poem most. Um. It's game time. Okay, we're actually playing the game now. Um, let's go with... Captive? And... And Climax? And... Lollipop? And... Ooh, tenacious. This is, because this is how I would describe myself. I would describe myself as tenacious. All the other stuff about the lollipop and the cl that's... Selena says, how big is your anus on this, her Valentine's Day 2024 stream? Yeah, guys, look, it's Valentine's Day. I have hearts here in a Ziploc bag. What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day, huh? Look at these little hearts. Tenacious captive lollipop climax, right? This is giving me such a great product idea. Cute shaped butt plugs that make your poops into cute shapes. Fun for the whole family. Oh, yay! Do you have a Kickstarter? Tenacious. Um, unrestrained. Papa? <laughs> cage, cage, cage. Nicholas Cage. Nibble. 
agon marriage happy let's go with nibble oh heaven sent heaven sent uh Vita Rank What's nibble? It's like this. Um, nom, 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 nom. The problem with cubed poop is that the cubes aren't tapered, and if your turds aren't tapered, your ass cheeks are gonna slam together. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, let's do a passion. Um let's do Oh, socks! Socks. Uh uh, you know what? Let's do, let's do cheeks because ass and, oh, vanilla also because ass and, um, uh, explode because of the climax earlier. So we're just tying, tying it in to get milk. Oh my God. No, we have to go with milk. Uh, boun bouncy. Bouncy, whisper, prayer, insight, summer, unstable. You know what? Let's go with bouncy. Uh, chocolate, bouncy, climax, chocolate, spinning, hopeless, question, bubbles. Let's do chocolate. Pleasure, extreme, parf. Oh, a parfait. A parfait. Are we doing a chat lib? Yeah, we are. Exclamation point libs. Kiss. Um. Bliss because it rhymes. Uh, skipping, pure, swimsuit, scars, grief, lucky, fester. Let's do, let's do crimson. Let's do crimson. And then the last one. Oh God. Oh God. Graveyard, loud, pink, lipstick, amazing, disoriented. Let's do, I guess pink is my favorite color. So, all right, let's see this shit show. again, Salulu. Oh god, she's gonna hate me. So what we're doing is writing a poem and choosing words that make a given girl happy as indicated by their jumping after we pick said word. Oh, I didn't look at that at all. I literally didn't even notice that. Literally did. You know what? It's gonna make the playthrough that much more special because I don't actually look at the entire screen. Yeah, no, that's, that's unclear. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Nah, don't worry. This, uh, this might be a little strange for me, but I at least uh, keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Saluwu. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you, making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year, and last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. To be fair, this game's the size of a post-it note on Selena's screen. It's true. It's like this big chat. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end to it. Uh, Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Is it manga or manga? Both. Yes. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature? Isn't hanging out the main reason for clubs? Yeah! God, what a nice, wholesome, and Christian-loving dating sim. Hi, Lamp, how are you? Welcome in. When are they starting Bible studies? I think right now. I think you're just in time. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plop, plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Saluwu always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable, says Yuri, pulling at her little... bow tie stringy thingy. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting, and you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Saluwu can become good friends too? How come? You and Saluwu can become good friends too. Um... Yuri says as she plays with her adorable purple hair. Manga? I can't deal with manga? No, it's, ma it's manga. Manga, manga or, manga or man manga? Manga. Manga. Damn it. Sayori, hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me in. Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Wait, Sayori, uh, me? Um, not really, says Yuri. Don't be shy. 
It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sorry made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. Mayonnaise. Manga. May- is that how del- is that how delayed the ch- Okay, let's do another- let's do another leg test. Okay, are you guys at your keyboards? You guys are at your keyboards? Okay. Type the number zero. Okay, that took like three seconds. That's actually- that's- that's- it's okay. Depending on if you think these girls are posers or super obnoxious and extra mega posers. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. It's just because I said the manga manga thing and then people didn't react to it for like 47 seconds. Wow, there's some, there's some lag with some of you. YouTube does have like a second last lag than Twitch. Some of us are just slow. Yeah, are some of you okay? Thank you for typing zero in chat. I appreciate it. Chat engagement during that window of time just went like right up. You can pronounce manga any way you want, so I didn't react. Oh, good. Thank you. We have to think of funny responses. Oh, okay. Come on, please. As though you guys aren't as witty as I am. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. Oh, that's so cute. This, this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. No, no, he won't. He's not, he's not gonna read the book. He's, he's not gonna read it. He's not. Shout out to the local hairdresser. They must be getting paid hard with their Roy G. Biv spectrum of hair. Yeah, it takes a while to do colored hair, huh? I only discuss books naked, right? Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the hall. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man's looking a summary the moment he- looking up a summary the moment he enters into the room, right? I used to think Yuri was the best girl, but I've seen the light. It's actually Selena. Oh my god, YouTube is being really cute right now, guys. You have competition. You have competition. Thank you, Superstar Mario. You really, truly are a superstar. My god, YouTube again. Yeah, YouTube keeps one up in you guys. It's kind of fucked. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's kind of... Compliments from Twitch chat? Zero. Compl oh, wait. Hold on. We just got one. Selena, I want to eat your hair. Okay, compliments from YouTube? One. Compliments from Twitch? One. What if I wrote you a poem, Selena? Okay, all right. It wasn't Tyler, was it? No, it was Superstar Mario. That's not fair, I can't be cute. I have a genetic condition. Happy for YouTube, I'm sure you'll be very happy together. No, guys, we need to get along, okay? I wanna hug you, Selena. Okay, that's three from you. That's three from you guys. Is YouTube teaching you how to pronounce Japanese words correctly? No. Big Terp, enjoy your gifted sub from Link. Thank you for coming in and collecting it. I'm not interlocking toes with YouTube chat. Okay, well, what about me? YouTube hair smells nice. Okay, all right, no, that's good, that's good. I hear Natsuki utter an exacerbated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in here? I'd give you bits if I had more milk to spend. Thank you for the thought. Your shirt is very plaid. It is. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. 
Wow. No call. Wow, it took like 30 seconds for someone to type something. Hi, AB James, how are you? Selena is like the best streamer ever. Don't you all agree? Of course you do. Aw, shucks. We have lots of delays, sorry. No, you fucking don't. Yeah, I dressed all fancy for you guys. Hi, fuck are you. Roses are red, violets are blue. Selena is awesome and the plaid is cool too. Whoa, okay, now you guys are one-upping. You liked my shirt before I asked. Yeah, if I have to ask you, it doesn't fucking count. <laughs> you looking for something in there? Freaking Monica, she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Masuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. You could pass as the daughter of an actress I love. Saltburn. Oh my god, did you guys end up watching Saltburn? Did you I told you not to watch it with anyone you respect. Did you did you take my advice? It's a good movie, but don't watch it with anyone you respect. What's her name? Everybody tells me I look like her. Stop it. I can't. I'm blanking. I'm blanking. I'm blanking. The mom. The mom in Saltburn. Everyone tells me I look like her. Rosamund Pike. That's it. You did you finish it? Did you like it? Yes. It was it was We got to dish about it later. We got we got a dish about it later, Lotus. But yes, yeah, it was um, it was it was a. I was trying to explain it on stream afterwards without giving away spoilers, and I was like, it was certainly a movie. It was a ride. My God, hi Crow of Sticks, how are you? I'm actually a sloth that takes 15 seconds to type a single letter, so excuse yeah. the delay. That's fine. That's... Hey, Queen, I saw your tweet about how men are trash, and I just wanted to let you know that I agree. Although I myself am a man, I know. Ugh, I am on your side. One of the good ones, as some may say. Hi, BFFF. Selena's pitting the chats against each other, just like our government. She's trying to divide and conquer. <laughs> no. Gonna watch Salper now because you recommend it. Okay, bye, mom. Seriously, just don't watch it with anyone you respect. You know what? Watch it alone. Watch it. Watch it alone. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. <clears throat> thank you for the bits, Sherevik. Thank you. You look like the main character from the Best Remedy game. Who? Who's that? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes manga is one of those things you can't admit you're really into until you figure out where the other person stands. Really? There are no good remedy games. Excuse. Wait. So wait. So I look like I look like someone from a game that's just from the, that's not good. But what if I respect myself? Should I still watch it? You have to be a little bit. You have to be a little bit not into yourself to watch it. If I should watch it alone, do I need tissues? And should they be the good kind or the naughty kind? Um. Yes. Yes. Do you agree with this, by the way, that manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands? <sighs> Hi, Brian L. He oh, that's the- oh, Brian came over from YouTube, I see. Selena is like a steam of bat's piss. She shines like a shaft of gold when all around is dark. Jesus. I can't believe I literally just read that out loud on this channel. How do you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What? Oh, sorry, do you want me to repeat it? Selena is like a stream of bat's piss. She shines like a shaft of gold when all around is dark. It's written on YouTube, thank you. Not these days, although if you're pro manga, anti-anime maybe. Sounds like lighting advice. Hey, I know that Monty Python reference. Oh, it's a Monty Python. Oh, I thought someone was it was just shitting on me. Really, Selena? I, I don't. Yeah, no, I'm I'm being right in front of my crab rangoons. I, I I'm sorry, Yusuke. I don't. I don't know, man. This take is so like 2009, 2016. Like manga's pretty normalized today. Yeah, it is, right? I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga mixed amidst a stack of various books on the side to one of the shelves. Curious, I pull out the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. 
She then turns a box of uh, turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Parfait girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice on one of these people, eh? But I'll tell you one thing, Saluwu. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Selena is like a dose of the clap. At first she comes in pleasure, but at the end she's just a pain in the dong. More Monty Python. Thank you for clarifying, because I actually thought you were... <sighs> Manga is great when you catch up on anime and want the rest of the story. Nice! Mary War Waronov. She's in culty movies I love, like Death Race 2000. Do you think I look like Mary Waronov? Waronov. In fact, Nasuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. Selena is actually not multi-streaming. It's all a figment of her imagination. Perhaps the back comment is hers. Don't make me screenshot your name. She shoves the books right into my hands. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Has anyone seen this message? Your cheer could not be processed. Please try again later. I have enough bits. Twitch is stopping you guys from giving me money? Wh what? Can we... Okay, it sent a penny through. That worked. Can... Manga is great for when you finish the anime and you want more stuff. Ooh. But there isn't more because the series is still in the making or cancelled. This clip will blow blow up trust. Can't believe I literally just read that out loud on this channel. How do you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What? Oh, sorry. Do you want me to repeat it? Selena is like a stream of bats piss. She shines like a shaft of gold when like a shaft of gold like a shaft of shines like a shines like a shaft of like a shaft of gold shaft of shaft of shaft shaft of gold when all around shaft of gold when all around is dark. It's exceedingly mo. What the hell does that mean? Don't just stand there. What? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to next to her, signaling me to sit there. I thought that stream had glitched for a second. Shaft, 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 sh, 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 shaft, shaft, shaft. DDLC Milkshake brings all the poets to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. DDLC Milkshake brings all the poets to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours. I can't, except you totally did. I can teach you, but I have to charge. If you want it, the thing that makes thee what the guys go crazy for. They lose their minds. Da, 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 da. Watch if you're smart. Na 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 na. Warm it up. No, fuck my god, I love that song. Watch if you're smart. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? So far, the game has trauma has me less traumatized than the stream. Yeah, this game isn't traumatic. Exclamation point trigger, right? Who's a complicated man who no one understands but this woman? Yes. Is that what it means?
It's a cutesy and clumsy in a charming way. It's a character trope that some people like. Oh, I get it. Khalees was so damn good with creating that song. Shaft, thank you. How to get rid of all the guys is an extra charge. It is. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable, says Saluwu. I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh, why's that? I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arm and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Whoa. How long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really, says Natsuki. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I talk at the same time. <laughs> so I can... Guys, this sounds like me when I'm streaming. And you're like, guys, are you listening? And I'm like, huh? I wonder if we can stream two whole streams without even getting to the sus stuff. Do you think so? You think so? Hi, Mr. Durr. Selena should make a cover of that song, but have it be milk instead of milkshake. My milk brings all the my milk brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, my milk brings all the chat to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge my milkshake, charge bits. My milkshake, my milk brings all the chat to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right, it's better. I think we can Selenify it. I think we can. Nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You I think I would enjoy- a lot of Damn right, it's better than yours, I can teach you. But I have to try my milk brings all the chat to the yard and they're like... You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean... My milk brings all the Todd to the yard and he's like, ahem. Selen Uhu is so judgy after reading like two pages of the manga, right? Yeah. Seriously. Who's the Canadian private dick that's a sex machine to all the chicks? Selena, you're damn right who is a woman that would risk her neck for her brother man? Selena, can you dig it? Who's the cat that won't cop out when there's danger all about? Selena, right on theme song of the movie Shaft. Thank you so much. Holy shit, that's beautiful. Like when Selena abandoned Horizon before the Nick Cage cameo and Sekiro before the alien appeared. What? Well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop, but that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen, that's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Oh, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. E he he he. Hey, wait, what's that supposed to mean? Ooh, Natsuki gives me a little shove. Sorry, can we get the... Ooh, One more time. Ooh, ooh. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. <laughs> Good save. Uh, this chapter seems to be about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Nasuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious, since you enjoy baking too, right? You said touching parts. What has gotten into you, Paul? Oh, oh my god. Paul, I've never seen you like the Paul, please. Paul, zero. <laughs> That's, it's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Manga, damn it. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in manga. <laughs> Tech, thank you so much for gifting out a sub to Shafticus Cucketh. We are five subs away from another fortune. The rumors you have heard are true. It is from the uh, the Disney vault. The the old, the, look at all these old fortunes. These are actually printed though. These are These are not handwritten, so you don't have to deal with my ridiculous writing. I just wonder what it's gonna take Thank you! Another foreign or a bigger chain 
Because no matter how my life has changed I keep on looking back on better days You probably think that you are better now Better now You only say that cause I'm not around Not around You know I never meant to let you down Let you down Would've gave you anything Would've gave you everything Okay, let's get one from the middle here. Tech Ninja, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I really appreciate it. And just like that, we're at 50. Thank you. All right. The last reason your last romantic partner, the, sorry, the real reason your last romantic partner broke up with you was because you refused to stop calling icicles horny ice. Where's the bird with the tape on the nose lying in the other room, in, in like in, in the other, in the other room, in the other. Hi, Callie, how are you? Why did the gaming notice just get sent now? No way. Chris said he got that ping so quickly. Is Hannah okay? Um, she's... Sometimes you have to stand up for the things you believe in. What is Boxing Day 8? You guys are so fucking funny. Do you do you know how funny you guys are? Do you guys actually know how funny you are? Like With the callback to the eights and the zeros, like I can you need to you need to pat yourself on the back. You guys are so funny. Here, just for that, I'll show you my golden truck nuts. I'll even take it out of the bag. Is YouTube included in this? Yeah, come on. Look at that, that's you guys. See that camera there? That's what I see, that's what I talk into. Andrew, thank you for the four months. Happy Valentine's Day. It is, guys, it's Happy Valent- is, is it officially Valentine's Day somewhere? Is it? Is it officially Valentine's Day somewhere? Do, 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 do. We're the most beautiful nuts. Yeah, it's true, right? They, they were the most beautiful. Oh, you're the most beautiful. I completely agree. Um, in Europe, I think? Okay, all right. Got it. My mom says I'm special. Thank you, I'm so proud of you. You talk into truck nuts? Yes, I'm in Nova Scotia. Cool. It's evening, uh, almost here on Valentine's Day. Oh, well, here it's 8.45 p.m. There's still some time for you to get grocery store flowers for your SOs, okay? Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. Ah ha 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 ha. Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Nasuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Are you gonna be my Valentine so I can tell my mom I have a girlfriend? Ooh, yikes. Um. I will. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll divert the question to Lotus. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. He already said sorry now. Oh, yikes. Lying to your mom either way, yeah. Wait, you're someone who lies to your mom? <laughs> Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh my god, this is adorable. Look at her. We read on for a few more minutes. Can we start a hype train? I need to test something. Are you, are you testing something? Taco programs that extra line that says the how many kicks or how many oo-woos or how many like whatever's are needed to finish the hype train level. And then he added something else to it today. So he's actually not trying to bait you for money. Like he's genuinely oh, trying to wow, test something. So Khaleesi, thank you. Am I saying your name correctly? Khaleesis? Khaleesis. Khaleesis. That is a brand spanking new tier one sub, by the way. Can we please get a clap for Callie. Callie, thank you. Can we please get claps and balds? Are you gonna be my mom so I can tell my Valentine that I have a mom? Lying to your Valentine? Sure, I'll do it. Bald? Bald. Bald. I can produce a lot of 
Is it working, Taco? What do you need us to test? Clean up on aisle Selena. What do you need us to test? Are we doing, are we, are we, what are you, what are you testing? It did before, but I refactored and broke it. Oh. Need to fix before hype train ends. Whoa! All right, guys, you heard it. You, for as long as you keep the hype train going, Taco's gonna program. What I did doesn't show on stream. Okay, so you're just working back end. Okay. Thank you again so much, Callie, for the tier one. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for starting the hype train. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not, even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so, I guess it's fun sharing something like this with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not, well, I, I wouldn't really know. Oh, this time I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh, oh no, never mind. Never mind, ugh. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Oh, sorry. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, hey, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Isn't, aren't these like people in high, isn't this like a child? Isn't, aren't these kids in high school? What do you mean grow up out of it yet? What it is? Yeah. Message deleted by Monica. Yawning, thank you so much. Thank you, Stu. At least high school. Natsuki needs better friends. I completely agree. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. Eight. <laughs> it's probably harder for someone like you. Hi, Ghoulicious. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I can feel, uh, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. Eight? I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Taco, let me know if you need, if you need, because I can also gift anonymously to keep the hype train going. I can't cheer in my own channel, but anonymous gifts do keep it going. The what now? Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Do, 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 do. Maybe, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So, geez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Uh, Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. Hi, Rap Boy. Does say hi to you? What's good? All the love I have won and have lost, there is one love I should have crossed. She was a girl in a million. My friend, I should have known she would win in the end. They were originally under 18, maybe hoping to curb the Rule 34 stuff. We know how that worked out. Oh. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets uh, it gets especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Suki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. If she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words, words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that and being able to provide that to Natsuki for whom it's a rare experience. The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Hey, okay, everyone, eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, no. Yeah. Want a moat, please? One yeah. PLS, Mary, PLS. PLS, yeah, guys, get your, uh, your, your special hype train emotes if you still don't have them. If you cheer 100 bits or gift one sub, you will get some hype train emotes. Unless you have all of them already, in which case you get nothing. You get absolutely nothing. It's devastating. Oh, come on. Could, you, could your timing be any worse? Sorry, I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. Ooh. Ooh. 
I see it as an overlay, but I don't see it at the top of chat. Wait, you don't you don't see the hype train in chat? But you see it here, yeah. It says in the corner there are five subs needed to complete level. I can put right a lot of myths. Five subs needed to complete the level or 2,045 bits. And then it has a breakdown of how many like individual, like 38 uwu alerts, 28 francs, 23 kicks, or 21 milks needed to complete level four. It's a cool little overlay, isn't it? Ooh, I'm just a teenage Thank you, Tech bag, Ninja. Baby. Yeah, I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Yeah, listen to Iron That got baby, us there, right? Baby with me. That got us to the next level? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the five. And for the milk and the ooboos. Santos, enjoy your gifted sub. Thank you. Hey, Silent V10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Natsuki suddenly noticed how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself Everybody a good 12 inches. Rat boy. You get a sub. 60? You get a sub. You get a sub. Talk about a hole in one. Rat boy, thank you so much for gifting out three subs and getting us to 60 so we get another fortune. Pretend this is a beak on a bird. Did you guys get that? If you are going on a date with someone who likes cats, it can be helpful to eat a can of cat food beforehand so that the smell of your breath comforts them. No thanks. Are you sh Are you sure? I enjoy eating ca Everyone knows that cat food is basically like pate. Thank you so much for the 60 subs, everyone. Thank you for the level five hype train. Oh my goodness. A good 12 inches away from me. He he, not far enough. Am I right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, the, the, we're playing a game. She hastily slides herself a good, uh, a good 12 inches away from me. All right. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but Monica just said, don't be dumb. Okay, it's fixed. Okay, do you hear everyone? Che give no more money. No, you don't need to do anything else. The hype train is fixed. Please thank the mods. If you give more money though, I may be able to fix some styling. Oh God, I just finished saying. Okay. Give a little bit more. <laughs> Stoicite. I'm not stuck. I am once again asking you for just anything. Thank you for the support, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Stu. Thank you, Stoicite, for the 15 months. Thank you. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Get out of here so that Tech I can ninja. go to our special place any time now. <gasps> Mary? Oh. Oh, it's just you. Hi, James. Tech Ninja, thank you so much for gifting out seven subs. We are at 68. We are at 60, 68 subs. Oh, let me align the time remaining a little bit better. Oh yeah, look, it's, a, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing, hold on. Are you guys seeing that it's not perfectly aligned? Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's like one pixel too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Literally unusable. 
Let me try something real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Also, Taco, while I have you... <laughs> You come from YouTube. Hi, Clark. How are you to do this? Oh, oh look, I made it. I made it. Uh, never mind. I'm going down. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. Taco, is it possible to make the sub goal always say 69 plus whatever? Like it stops at 69 and then any extra sub beyond that is like 69 plus 2, 69 plus 3, 69 plus 4. You think we could probably... That's, pro that's pretty easy to program, right? <laughs> I think that was oh, Kyle's idea. I made it. I made it. Uh, never mind, I'm going down. I came from YouTube to do this. Stream cut out. What did you say? So, thank you so much, Clark. Thank you for literally the first time gifting a sub. Oh, you came over to gift a sub to get us to 69. Can someone please... Okay, Taco, for our sub counter, can it always say 69 plus whatever like if we get to 69 subs it counts until 69 and then it always says like 69 plus 2 or 69 plus 3 or 69 plus 10 all numbers mod 69 yeah that's pretty easy right that's can we get please youtube is like seriously guys like i like i know like i adore you and my home is on twitch but like they are really they are re being really charming the sub goal in the lower left corner yeah and that's from stream elements yeah, so we can aim for 69 plus 69, yes. Just wanted to be nice, thank you. Yeah, sure, right. Oh yeah, should be easy, okay, thank you. Cause I definitely want that. I definitely want that. It was Kyle's idea and I think it's very funny. <sighs> Don't be dumb, says Natsuki. Just take it home with ya. Eh, is that really all right? I say mostly because I didn't really plan on using my spare time to read this. This is a really cute game, by the way. This is really so far, it's, I thought I would be like sick of the reading, but I, I just love it so much, it's adorable. Well, of course, it would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish the first one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow? I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this, but I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Aww. Are YouTube and Twitch chat like opposite little angel and devil shoulders? Yeah, I got YouTube here and I got Twitch here. How does one do this nice thing? Um, you, you have to be the person to gift the 69th sub. Do you have a favorite character, Selena? Am I allowed to say? Yuri, maybe? Twitch being the obvious angel side. I have literally never heard anything funnier. I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing uh, Natsuki's enthusiastic- Kyle! If I sit on it, is it gonna go lucky if I buy this one? Yuri has the biggest- Whoa! Are they gonna, they gonna eat, eat my butt? butt? What in the frickin'? Are they gonna eat my butt? Word? Are they gonna eat my butt? Is it easy to, is it, Taco, is it easy to update Are now? Is it 9, 10, 11, 12? Let's no, it's it midnight time. for you, never mind. You're probably really tired. Thank you so much, Kyle, for the 13 gifted subs. I appreciate it. You just bought some extra time to maybe switch over your train counter. Wait, what should I do? Should I, should I reset it? What should I do? Thank you guys for helping us. Thank you. Thank you so much for the 13 gifted subs. You just bought some extra time. Nothing yet. Okay. <sighs> All right. We got to keep it going. We have four minutes left. <sighs> two repeat fortunes, please. Oh my God. How could I forget? Yeah. I owe you guys two fortunes, right? Okay. An audio jack is a hole in a device where you can plug in your headphones. An audio jack is not when you just keep your pants on in the music store. Okay. Hi, Rob. How are you? YouTube heard that, guys. Just so you know. Somebody clicked on. Horses are just flesh motorcycles. That's... It may break temporarily. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm disappointed learning that. You know what? Nothing really disappoints me anymore, honestly. Really? A horse has four wheels though. <laughs> Flesh motorcycles have feelings too. 
Um, or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? All right then, I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Oh God, here it is. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. A lonely height bar is much more better than a broken height bar, right? Wait, no, wait. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait, says Sayori. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's- oh god, it's gone. Okay, it's back. It's back. Yo, Sherevik, that's beautiful. That's really cute. I love that we've just, are you done with the hair? Are you, have we just accepted that I'm a brunette? Look, I get it. Look, I get it. There's like some blonde left here. I love it, it's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thanks, Austin. Thanks for hanging out on YouTube. Time to read the poem. Ahem, heaven salt milk nibble climax explosion. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. There's easy to add new bit alert to the list now. Awesome, thank you. I have a ton of stuff to do on it. I was just testing how to draw it in that style. That's really good, Sherevik. Oh, I missed one thing. Okay, we have a minute left. Do you need help? Do you need, do you need help? Seven, we have a minute left. Seven subs or 3,070, uh, 3,078 bits to keep the train going. I can already see Monica's pristine uh, handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as while reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Ooh, music shift? Who should I show the poem to first? Yuri, my favorite. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Oh, you forgot the alignment. Okay, perfect, thank you. Hmm, Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on, okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah, why do you ask? I'm just, I'm just making sure. I'm just. Hype train completed. Level seven completed. Thank you everyone. Enjoy your emotes, hopefully you got some. You got some Cali? Let's go. You got the adorable ghost. Thank you. I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Anyway, you can adjust the alerts that show up on the banner to your liking. Now, thank you, Taco. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll talk about the uh, the sub goal thing. Thank you for letting me. Thank you all for letting me fix it live. Thank you for working on it at like literally midnight. Thank you. We're getting pen zoned. What is pens like? Like pen pal zoned. So it's that bad? No. Uh, did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. Okay, Yuri's definitely the cutest. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. Kyle, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Robert. Man, how are you? Welcome in. Hi, Ice Hawk. I think I have all the emotes I could get from a hype train. Yelp, what? Right? It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I didn't really notice. Pal zone sounds dangerous. Oh, pal, pal zone? What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. 
Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It's true. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Raga, thank you for the 22 months. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for all the support today. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you guys are liking Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. I have a poetry degree. I'm just sitting here watching, judging. Do you really? How do you feel? Tell us how you really feel about it. Oh, Yuri. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri apologizing is to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost Under the Light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past, the light flickers, I flicker back. Oh, Yuri. Oh my god, is there a save in this game? Should I be saving this whole time? How do I save? Do you think Yuri likes to read Yuri? Yes. The realization, auto saves in plus, oh thank god. Cause look, I can see at the bottom it says history skip, auto save, load, but I don't know how to like, how do you like navigate? How do you, shoulder buttons? Not the shoulder buttons, not the, not the triggers. Out of everyone who I've watched play this game, I'm way more captivated in the poems when Selena reads them for some reason. Guys, it's someone who came over from YouTube. What a sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys are so nice to me today, all of you, seriously. Way too many modifiers. What's your rhythmic scheme? Just because you're writing free verse doesn't mean you can go all willy-nilly with your accents. And this is terrible. Prose chopped into lines, two out of 10. It's, oh, it's a touch screen? Oh, you mean on the switch, right? Okay. I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all, but it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Who are you into? Are you into Natsuki or are you into Yuri? Who is ba you, you know what, we need to take a poll. What's everyone's names? Best girl, uwu. Natsuki, Yuri. Um, Monica. Christ, what's the other one? Sayori. And then I'll just like pop like an extra option in there for, you know, for whoever's feeling adventurous, you know? Just gonna pop an extra option in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can we choose who has the best handwriting? Selena or Doki Doki? Yeah, did you guys see this? Look at this horrible handwriting. Ooh. Oh my God, you guys are actually pip pick picking me. You're adorable. This chat is full of panders. Wow. It's okay, I see everyone who clicks something other than my name and you're all going on a list. You're all going on a list. Chat, you disgust me. Oh my God, some of you want VIP and it shows. Like, it shows. 
Over here from Twitch, hi Grandmaster. What's the experience like on YouTube? Some of you want on the Spankies list, yeah. Top of the class list. Selena, you're not a girl, you're, you're a woman. Oh my God. Not yet a girl, no, not yet, no. I'm not a girl, but not yet a woman. All I need is time for a moment that is mine. Yuri, you fools. No, the correct answer is obviously Selena. <sighs> I meant to type you're a female. I know how badly you want VIP, but get out of my ass. Do, 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 do we need to do something special for Valentine's Day? How do I celebrate with these hearts today? Guys, I was so busy moving and crying. What do, what do I do with these? What do I, what do, what do I do? What do I, what do I, you want your names written on here? What do we do? What do we do, what you want? Are they edible? No, they're not edible. I can just write your names on them and be all cute and shit. Print messages on them, oh wait. Wait, hold on, I've got it. Names written then sent to us, right? Do another poll for second place. Yeah, who got, who, who was in second place? How about some cursed Valentine's Day messages, right? Write the name of your enemies and then tear them apart. Hmm. Yeah, we could celebrate Celentine's Day on Thursday. It'll be a little late, but... Can you make a heart paper airplane? I cannot, sadly. I'm not that talented. Oh, Monica was second with 20%. Okay. All right. Write names for a thousand bits, then make them paper planes and throw them from the window while streaming. Oh my god. All right, I'll write your name next to Yuri. And also, me, because I'm best girl, for a thousand bits, all right? All right. Save and throw it into the Grand Canyon next year. Wow, you guys hate mother nature. Perfect, then we drive around Vancouver looking for them, right? Why do you write it so small? Because my pen is tiny. Don't worry, I got out a marker, I'm good. I'm good, how many people are on there already? Definitely con, definitely burrito snap. Okay, let me start, burrito slap, excuse me. Let me start writing these. Burrito slap. Crowby? Roby Kyle. Sea Pancake. Dr. Nerd Rage. Oh my God, we got a lot of freaking bits today. Thank you guys. Dr. Nerd Rage, Rivioli. Stew. And Cyrix. Who gave me this game? There you go. Is she writing the list of baddies? Yeah, right next to Yuri and Selena right here. Thank you. Is this the sexy Pentagon I was waiting for? Yes. There you go. Nature is like 80% paper, right? Yes. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Hey, that's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Says Saluwu. Hoo hoo, says Yuri. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Saluwu. Yeah, come on. Read between the lines. 
Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more, that's, that's a lot more solemn way of putting it. I hadn't even thought about that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Salulu loves spice, Yuri. Pack it on. It's true, I do. I really do. Okay, who do we share it with next? Hmm. Monica. Hey, Salulu, having a good time so far? Uh, yeah, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have a suge any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Salulu, we're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's the sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, I like it, Salulu. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, jeez. No, no, it kind of makes me think of something that Suki would write. Is that an insult, you think? Or... And she's a good writer, too. Okay, it's not. We're good. So take that as a compliment. Ah ha ha ha. If you say so, yep. There are a lot of poems or stories out there that are no more than a few simple words. They can be funny, endearing, or even sad. Yeah, like chat libs, right? Sad. No. Sad and endearing, and a little cursed sometimes. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids if you think about them. They can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So, uh, you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sometimes, yeah. Defenestrate. If one more person adds defenestrate to a chat lib, so help me God, I am going to defenestrate you. That means to throw something out the window, right? It doesn't mean something inappropriate, right? It doesn't. Sort of, says Monica. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. I added it last time. It was you. I should have known. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why you're kind of, uh, why it would be your kind of poem to explore. What is a doki? Descrotified. Oh my god. Can you imagine skinning a scrotum? <sighs> so I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I start. <laughs> I even needed a moment after saying that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. Hi, Kawaii. How are you? Thank you so much for adding a word, Sherevik, to Art Gallery. Selena, that was brutal and now I don't want to move. With a potato peeler. You're right, I do have the whiteboard here. I don't think you can skin a scrotum. The scrotum is the skin, unless you mean skinning the scrotum. No, yeah, I mean like taking it. I'm sorry, it hurts you just as much as it hurts. No, it hurts me just as much as it hurts you. I don't get it, can you explain it? Um, for, a, for degloving. Ah! Potato is our safe word, and now it's an unsafe word. Hi, Kimmo. How are you? Unsacking? Oh, my God. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. Doki Doki is an uh, onomatopoeia in Japanese for when your heart beats from being excited or scared. Oh, really? I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ah ha ha ha. 
Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who plain, uh, claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in Wall It could have been me. See, the direction of the sparkle sp spackle. One more time. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction of the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. It's just that I think the words the word retina kind of kind of threw me. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very free form if it's what you if that's what you like to call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Aha, uh -huh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. Okay, here we go. We got feedback from mom. My mom is in chat. You guys have to behave, okay? I had a poetry professor in university who said that you're allowed to use exclamation points in your writing, but every time you do, you should have to chop off one of your fingers. Oh, did you guys finish the chat libs? Never look into the holes. Speaking of holes, um, we do have a chat libs to read. So this is a brand new story. I'm gonna write down the time for this. I am no longer able to understand what is happening, but they have that. But that may have happened months ago. Shocker! Thank you so much for giving us the time of day, despite being incredibly confused. Is that your actual mom or just a fake fun account? Well, maybe. I'm. It's. I don't know. It says not your mom, but maybe. I'm really not sure. Okay, what time is it? How long are we into the stream? It's about four four twenty. Okay, chat lips. Time stamp it. Okay. <clears throat> Click to reveal the story. So if you don't know what chat libs is, you can cheer bits through an extension, an extension that was produced by me and developed by OMG and designed by Link. And the extension will ask you to fill in uh, for, for a word, like nouns, adverbs. Get it, chat libs? Body parts, a hot beverage. And then once all of the blanks are filled in, you're filling the blanks to a story. I read this, I read the story out loud. So here we go. Here's chat libs. The art gallery. Last week, I went to an art gallery with some friends. I was very excited to go because they were displaying the artwork of Pickleus Cage. It was an interesting experience. When we first got there, instead of charging money to buy a ticket, the museum made us donate a sacrificial altar to get in. Luckily, I always keep a sacrificial, a spare sacrificial altar in my muckluck boots. When we got to the gallery, there must have been a field trip because there were a bunch of people from a nearby used diaper cleaner skirt school. Excuse me, used diaper cleaner school. Pickles Cage's work was very interesting. First, there were numerous paintings. One of the paintings that really stuck out to me was a portrait of Pickles Cage's mother, but she was painted to look like a fennec fox. There was also a sculpture of a giant bag of milk, but it had oatmeal sticking out of it. The most controversial piece was a short film that was playing on loop. It showed Pickles Cage Selena-ing in a Defenna state while making direct eye contact with the camera. It was so intense that one person bamboozled while watching it. Overall, I would say that the exhibit was quite inspiring. I can't wait to try some Selena-ing of my own. Somebody literally filled in the word defena space state. 
Who was this? I can see who it is. I can see who it is. It asked for a location and he literally put defena space state. Selena ing is a verb. You can literally, this is chat libs. You can be as creative as you want to be. Okay. All right. Shout out to mom for writing that story, by the way. Uh, contributors, Kyle, Saul, Fiddler, uh, Bezo, Bezo, Dr. Nerdrage, and Shervik. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. If you know of a streamer who would enjoy chat libs on their channel, please do direct them to the chat libs extension on Twitch. It is also a way to support me because 80% goes to the streamer and 20% goes to the extension developer. So thank you. Or to the, the, I split it with OMG, but thank you. Thank you. That kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, says Monica. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about these stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other? Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. True. Yes. True. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. That is very true. If there was a little Selena chibi that jumped up like the girls in this game when you added a word. Oh. It shouldn't be too hard to add something more. I wonder if I can ask OMG about that. Like every time someone adds a word, yeah, that's a cute idea. Do you ever plan things for when you're better friends with someone? Yes, what? Oh my God, he's lurking. Hi, OMG. Thank you so much. We love chat libs. Right now we have an anime. I love how much tech stuff we're doing during the stream. Thank you. Thank you, amazing programmers. Taco earlier. Um, right now we have an animation that plays when a word gets submitted and a sound. We can make that anything, right? Can we customize that for my stream? Uh, you know what, I could probably do something like that through through Firebot. Like I could have it read chat and when chat libs posts in chat in animation plays. That could maybe be something I do on my end. That's actually really good writing advice. Yeah, no, that's really solid. Yeah. Once we unlock friendship level three, this shit takes off, right? That's really, that's really good. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Do, do, who should I show my poem to next? Ooh. That's Suki. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? Who is your waifu so far? Yuri. Mm-hmm. I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said, well, I should, would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. <gasps> we wrote a good poem? You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, huh, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature really looks like. And then you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. I like her little, this makes me want to do short hair again or like little pixie hair. Every time I have short hair, I like it for a little bit and then I want long hair. And then as soon as I start growing out my hair, I'm like, damn it all to hell. Damn it all to hell. So in other words, you're saying you liked it? Erk. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so, you just don't understand anything, do you? 
No, har no harm in alternating. It's just so hard with long hair. I guess wigs, but wigs are super uncomfortable. The hair is always greener on the other side, it's true. As soon as my hair tickles my neck, I'm out. I get it. I get it. Just do short hair on one side. Yeah, like e Ava Max or whatever her name is. I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. Not sure how other people who have it set up, who have set up custom overlays for you have done it, but I could send them the code for the current widget and then the simple WebSocket listener it uses. Okay. Thank you, OMG. Do you think it would work through Firebot too if it just reads, if it just waits for chat libs to post? There could be a bit of a delay with that though. As long as I can pull on my hair, I am out. Bald gang. Excellent. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki seems uh, must uh, really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she likes my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours. Girl, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Okay, thank you, OMG. That might be easier to do, so I might just mess around with it myself. Finagle, is that a word? Diddle, no, that's, that's not right. Succinct. Yeah, what do you guys think about this poem? Mom? Mom, are you here? Mom? Mom, what do you think? Natsuki got expelled for this poem sent back to preschool. I once got in trouble in eighth grade because I put a sign on the water fountain that says, that said, don't drink the water, fish have sex in it. Rem you gotta remember, guys, that this was like the first time that anyone had ever heard that joke before. So it was really funny. The teacher even was laughing when she was like giving me detention. And like, I needed to like, I needed to bring it home and sign it and then have like my mom sign like a letter from the teacher. She was like, Selena, you can't. This is a true story. I thought it was so funny. Brilliant rhyme scheme, consistent rhythm, Unpretentious language, 10 out of 10. Why would fish have sex in the school fountain? I don't understand. I've never heard that joke before. Eagles can fly. Okay, we're done with this. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. Hi Norton, how are you? I think it's funny you think fish have sex at all. It was a funny joke when I was in grade eight, okay? This was like a million years ago, guys. This was... <laughs> Groby! How do you fucking do it? How do you 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 do it? How did you capture the eye roll? Like... Does the female fish lay its eggs in the fountain? I don't know. Yes. Dad's voice, whoa, save some water for the fishes, bud. Right? It's a good dad joke, eh? Imprisoned for telling the truth, worse than Cuba, I know. That's such good, like, I'm in my teens and only just discovering cute, crude humor moment, yeah. I remember my first meme. Oh, it's, no, it's 50. No, it's fi it's 50 bits, Shervik. Thank you for the 51 cents, though. I remember making my first meme using the why you know guy. You guys remember why you know the why you know face and i showed it to all of my friends it was during it it was during a time in high school when the playstation network was like down for a long period of time sure like jesus christ get it together get it the why you know guy it was it was during the time in high school when the playstation network was down and so i made thank you 
And so I made a meme that was like, PlayStation Network, why you know sign in with the why you know guy. And it was, it was like, everyone loved it. Every, like I was, I, you didn't have to really try that hard back then guys. Now there's like a new meme format every 76 milliseconds. Like, but like I got, like I got laughs. Selena, that's fucking hilarious. I love you. You're a savant. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Why you know sell more cell phones? Me coaching at work 14 years ago. That's when Selena knew she was destined to be an entertainer and everyone clapped. Thank you. The big PSN hack of yesteryear. Yes. Yes. Remember when PlayStation Network was down like how many fucking years ago at this point? <sighs> Professionally funny from the start. You love to see it and mind in the gutter. Thank you. It's the whole package. <sighs> this is the nerd version of someone telling you their high school football stories. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I never got detention. Was it fun? It was awkward because I was like a very good student who got like straight A's in grade school. So it was really like the teacher was like laughing. She was like, ah, 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 oh, oh, look, I made it. I straight made it. A's, right? Depends on who the teacher is, true. This one time, Selena told the joke for a 50 yard touchdown, 100%. Watch The Breakfast Club. I have watched it. Talk draw. It's very good. BFFHGBFF. Thank you for the 106. I appreciate it. Remember, if you cheer a thousand bits, I poorly write your name on this heart. Intellectually brilliant, morally questionable. Exactly. Yeah. In high school, one of my best friend's dads uh, was the detention teacher. All right, here we go. What, says Natsuki, just be honest. I am, why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the world wordplay. Like I set up a rhyme at the end and then made it fall flat on purpose. I did not notice that. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did, I guess, more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decide to humor her with my last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nasuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Wait, are we the youngest one there? Who should I show my poem to next? Sayori is the only one who's left. This is a good poem, Saluwu. Are you sure it's your first time? Do we not get to read it ever? Cause I really want to. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? I guess you're right, but that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm just really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise, see? It's like I said before, Saluwu, deep down you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that's only, that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny uh, that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm gonna hold you uh, hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. We'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub my sleep, the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. 
but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Real. What do you guys think? Where's mom's, where's mom's analysis? Hi, Brandon. Deep. I don't think any sun shines through my windows in the morning. I think there's, I think the blinds just, meh. She says what we're all thinking. Sayori, this is just a guess, but do you, did you wait until it's morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Well, I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. Black. I have blackout curtains and have breakfast. Uh, yeah, I have blackout curtains and still have breakfast. She's a hack. Hi, eggs and toast. Hi, Jordan. How are you? Sorry, did I miss a... Ma uh, did I say bad poem? I meant a horrible poem. No, this was a really good poem. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, yeah. But next time I won't forget, and I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Phew, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing skills. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I each watch their I watch each of their expressions change. Mitsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language, eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Mitsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice, eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Salu did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. I love her, she's badass. N and Salu liked my poem too, you know, he even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh my god, the music stops. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. A... That's not what I, uh, you're just, uh, Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Salu appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. You, uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Salu started showing. How did I guess? How did I... Was that not literally the first thing I pointed out? Was that she had her, her arms behind her to perk them up? High seven string. Gabo, thank you so much. Lulu, Lulu. Hi, everyone. Selena Selena Loa o o o it's my sub-anniversary selling Hyperbob, and my badge looks mad. And two more months to reach the third year. That's crazy, Gabo. Nice job, Gabo. I'm so proud of you. Claps for Gabo, please. A couple oo's for Gabo. The ASMR of the little Selena's running off into the screen, right? Gabo! Gabo is literally a legend. An absolute freaking sweetheart. Ooh. -woo. Thank you for the 34 months. Enjoy your sub badge before it turns into a fucking wreckage. 
Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I, I don't like fighting, you guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Salute! I just clapped. <laughs> Zoe just clapped IRL. Who else clapped IRL? I'm turning into my toddler. No, come on! This doesn't make you a toddler. Come on. She's just, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Uh, if she could get uh, over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and, mo and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. I did, but I also made seal sounds. Oh, you did? Do you know that a seal in Polish is foka? That's your Polish word of the day. I'm pretty sure we've done this before, but it's literally such a funny word. I bring it up all the time. Foka. Foka. No, fo foka. Foka. Hi, Bunny, how are you? Same for French, it's Foca. Foca. Spelling, please? Lord knows. F O F O F O K A? K A? I don't know. It's, Polish is pretty phonetic once you have the alphabet down. Like Polka with an F? Foca. There's no L. There's no L. Foca. F, yeah, F-O-K-A or F-O-C-K, yeah. Probably with letters we've never seen before, probably, yeah. I clap IRL while yelling fuck, but only on Sundays. Heisler lurks a lot. You understand that, right, Salu? Um, well, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course that's going to be... Mm, neither of them. Natsuki! Natsuki glares at me, drawing up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri! But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Eh, yeah! Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Saluwu, well that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree, says Yuri. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes- Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just- I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because they're differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? But because, well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. You can't see animated emotes? Oh my god, somebody sent help to Gabo. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Nasuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice, pre Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica, she nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I can't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Mm, nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that means Sayori is amazing in her own way, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes the two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right, well, mostly. 
Salu, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was neat to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow, and maybe you learn something from your friends too, so your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Saluwu, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Ee hee hee Sayori beams at me. Sai si your- my god, I can't, every time. Hi, Paveway! It truly has been a while since Sayori and I spend this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, what about what happened earlier? Hey, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? Look at this layering on her. She's got like a, like a, like a, like a, like a white shirt, like a button up. And then like a, like a, like a, like a vest. And then like a blazer. Beautiful. No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Salu, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get, get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest, and I think everyone really likes you too. That's... Every day is going to be so much fun. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said uh, more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. When does the dark shit start? There's auto save, right? We don't, we don't have to worry. Are we writing another poem and we're sharing another poem? What dark shit? Oh, um, never mind. This is totally a normal dating sim. I, uh, sh do I like lift? How do, how do I save? How do I? Oh my God, save. There was an auto, holy shit. There was an auto save over an hour ago. My God, we would have been so screwed. Hi, heavy metal Canadian. You want tips on which girl likes what words? I don't know. I kind of just want to pretend that I didn't notice that they were bouncing and just go with my gut. Right? Okay, I need to use the bathroom. I'll be back. I'm sorry to say it. Natsuki is a terrible baker and frankly chars all the cupcakes. How do you, how do you char cupcakes? How do you let her cook? Hope you're doing well, Twafo. Okay, I'll be a minute. Or, you know, three. La 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 la. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? A little streamer, eh? <laughs>
Hey Dan, what's good? Thanks for waiting, guys. I appreciate it. Wow, there's only like four slow pokes on the on the screen. Damn. Thanks, Tyler. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's my first time playing something like this. That guitar was good. What guitar? The shelf looks like it's not even there. Look at this. Orange, like gentle orange LED lights behind me. Crazy. All right. We're playing a game that contains themes of depression, suicide, self-harm, and abuse. We are not at any of those themes yet, but it's a good reminder. I was looking at your phone. I was looking at my phone when you returned and I jumped. The shelf looks like a shadow. It does, right? You guys wanna see different colors? Give me a second. Excuse me. Ooh. The dastardly Tyler YouTube has returned. Twitch chat might want to destroy me. God, Tyler's on YouTube, guys. Tyler. Chat was asking about you earlier because people were being really sweet coming over from YouTube and they were like, oh, I is Tyler in chat. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Tyler. Destroy Tyler. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can only get the heavy stuff if you play the game really badly. Hmm, okay, all right. Do you have any muscle memory issues from moving? Is there anything too far away? Yes, to answer your question. The weakest remote on all Twitch for lights, honest to God. Okay, well, it's because I have... And there's a fourth one behind me for the please laugh sign. So I think like they don't, it, they're just like, wh like which one, are, which one of us are you pointing at? Which one of us? Sure, sure, you're not Tyler, but can you do this? Share one. What do you, what is that supposed to mean? Share one. <sighs> Anyways, guys, let's continue with this, uh, with this gem. Where's the universal remote for lights? I know. Cheese one, oh, okay. Uh, let me see here. Um, Papa and... Wait, why are we... Why is it making us do another one? Why is it, why is it making us do another one? Do I just like go along with it? Do I just, do I just go, do I just go? Yes, I just go along with it. Cheeks. So, socks. Um, go, uh, go, the anime, waterfall. Oh, it affects the next day a little bit. Okay, because this is a poetry game, you now only answer to poetry. Please, Mr. Kyle was my father. Just Kyle is fine. <laughs> Charm, waterfall, disoriented, hop, skipping, insight, extreme, clouds, graveyard. Marshmallow, poof, daydream, lazy, nature, meager? Sunset, raindrops, after, what is after image? Clouds can look like butts sometimes. You know what, you're not wrong. Marshmallow's a fun word though. Giggle, amazing, agonizing, precious, cry. Hey, somebody said extraordinary was their favorite word, so let's click that one. Fear, desire, sadness, bubbles, music, pure, vanilla, vertigo. How about universe? Mm, ribbon, heart, headphones, vivacious. I really like the word vivacious. We were talking about what our favorite words are earlier. Vivacious. Alone, sweet, whistle, unending, misfortune, joy, loud, melody. By the way, not that I'm gonna change the way I do things, but am I reading too quickly? Once again, what you say is not gonna impact how I read, but is the speed at which I am reading, because I think I read really fast. But I mean, kids nowadays with their attention spans, right? Like you gotta get through things really quickly, right? 
you pick a word, uh, they, yeah, you pick a word they like and they hop, they hop up, yeah. You're doing a great job, it's a lot to read, thank you. After image is what you set when you start at something for, you stare at something for a while and then it's stuck in your retinas for a bit. Really? I do not know them, no, I'm familiar with, I'm familiar with German rap though, thank you. Thank you for the blurb, I appreciate it. What is your strategy for this playthrough? Like, are you basically giving the black material directly to Sephiroth? I'm sorry, did you mean to type materia? Are your retinas basically like a CRT monitor? Okay, let's do loud, melody, misfortune, unending, whistle, joy, loud, rain cloud, suicide, holy crap. I have no problem with the reading speed, but people on Twitch are a bit slow. YouTube, oh my God. That was said by F-A-V-E underscore H-S-H-A-D-O-W. All right, the gloves are off. Can you believe F-A-V-E underscore S-H-A-D-O-W? Zero. YouTube is the devil on the shoulder plot twist, right? Get a real username. Yeah, come on, man. Couldn't be me logging into my Google account, just a shit post on YouTube. Yeah, be careful, because it'll use your full name unless you have it changed. Gotta destroy this Vehevshado or something, I know. Pick a lane, Junior. I was able to kit bash him, so I have two snipers with different poses, even though kit is only meant to make one. I cheated the system, Selena. Are you gonna be able to sleep tonight, Cap? Space Marine Scouts, let's go. Okay, let's do misfortune because that's a fun word. How do you how do you sleep at night? I remember when I used to play Guitar Hero after a song or two, I looked at the wall or something stationary and it would look like it was vertically, <gasps> stretching vertically. You know, I loaded up my Guitar Hero yesterday? No, Sunday for the first time in like 15 years. Like, I don't know how long it's been since I freaking, I uh, had to charge my controllers. I scraped battery acid out from the inside of my Guitar Hero, like literally. And I swear to God, I played, I sat and I played it for only 20 minutes and I got, so I got bored. I was like, how did I used to sit and do this for like four or five hours? And like my hands started to hurt. I was just like, bitch, please, my, my wrist is hurting. Anyways, I did wrist exercises afterwards because I felt like such a weakling. My biggest ever vid on YouTube is a little boy playing a Coco guitar that plays itself, so that's kind of all you need to know. Number two is a robot shark. <sighs> old age, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not old. <laughs> did you just call me slow from a couple minutes ago? Sorry for the slow response. You posted an after image exercise in, ch in what, in, in the general chat or in memes and videos? I want to reply to that very clever burn with an equally clever and witty comment. Thank you, Lamp. Thank you. Selena would totally play a high schooler in Hollywood movies. Oh, as if. Tragedy, imagination, time, analysis, swimsuit, pout, question, dazzle, trash, same imagination, embrace, time, analysis, analysis, pout, question, dazzle. I kind of like dazzle, dazzle. Do we get to pick milk again? Oh God. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Slow. Who? Who said that? Uh-huh. Who's slow? YouTube. More like you do what? Because farts. 
More oh you too instead of you too. Farts. Unbelievable. Slow. Who said that? Sticky, stick, sticky, sticky, sticky. You'll regret it. I will come at you with the speed of a tortoise with the meat sweats. Uh -huh. <laughs> Slow. Uh huh. Uh huh. P S H H H H H. Uh huh. Ridiculous. Uh huh. Preposterous. Special. No. Sensation. I'm incredulous. Sen Sensation. Todd is a slow and insidious killer. I'm so glad that you guys have access to adult money. Like, can you can you just imagine not? Can you can you imagine needing to like? You, you can you guys use your own credit cards for this Ahem. you like oh hi joey oh hi todd you guys like you guys use your own like you, you typed your numbers into the purple website, or you attached your PayPal's, and then you use them here to 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 spam meat sweat turtles. And th I think that that's just so special. What we have here, defenestration. Jesus Christ. Todd looks like Selena's mustache. It's true. Oh, you guys are yeah. You guys are such storytellers. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You guys are such ridiculous, preposterous, and incredulous. Wait, we're not supposed to use the company card. Oh, you can use whatever you want on this channel. That's, you know. I couldn't pay for toilet paper this month because I spent all of my money on bits. <coughs> Ninja! Ninja, thank you for the raid. I appreciate, are you okay? Ard Ardeen, how are you? Thank you. Thank you for being here. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome to my channel. Where, when you're here, you're family. Post Malone owns that and he says I could use it. That's probably fine, right, guys? Right? Right? Man, Twitch chat is awesome. I really wish we were as cool as the cats over there. I'm sorry that you uh, spent all of your money on bits this month and that you couldn't buy toilet paper. You can just use your hand or a bagel. He just called me and he's suing. No, 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 he would never. He would never, no. Gonna lurk while I cook. Thank you so much. Thank you for lurking and hanging out and coming all the way over from YouTube. Yeah. Appreciate that. It was a high of 72 degrees. Oh, in Jesus. Sweden on August 3rd, 2015. Misery. Oh, the Valentine. Was at 43%. Valentine because and it's the Valentine. point was at 46 degrees. These were no conditions to be wearing the tightest leather pants to ever pass the muscular thighs of 90s rock icon Lenny Kravitz. And his penis agreed. Guys, how do we have an, how do we have another hype train? This cooldown period is redonkulously small. Thank you so much, Stu. Thank you, Khan, for starting. We're already at level two. How did this happen? If you're here, you're queer. There's no avoiding that. If you weren't queer before, then you are now. I hate to break it to you. Hope it's been good to you. Yeah, it's been really cute so far. <sighs> Oh look, I made it, I made it. Uh, never mind, I'm going down. It's really cute so far. There's nothing dark or weird about it yet. So, so many people converting from YouTube to Twitch, just saying. <laughs> 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 so 
So you can do that on Twitch. You can't do that on YouTube yet. That's very special. That's very, very special. Okay, story time. You guys know, thank you, Star Ooh. Wolf. Thank you, Con. Thank you, Stu. I've told you guys before about my like allergy to nickel. Right, like I can't wear like really cheap jewelry, things like that. Bald. I gotta be careful with like the eyelash curlers that I use. So my smart ass saw this trend or whatever the kids are into of like putting a spoon to your, like to your eyes, like over your eyelid and then doing your mascara and the spoon catches like the excess from the mascara so that it doesn't go onto your eyelid and mess up your makeup. And I was like, oh my God, this is such a great idea. I love it. First few times I tried it, it was great. Suddenly my eyes started getting itchy. I had no idea what was going on. I was just like, what? Like, did I change my makeup? Am I rubbing them too much? I kept using the fucking spoon. Today it dawned on me. I was like, oh my God, this spoon has nickel in it. Mom. It literally like, it's just like red right exactly where I was placing it. Anyways, if you have a nickel allergy, even some eyelash curlers do it to me and they don't have the like the ingredients on an eyelash curler listed. Like when you buy a hammer, there's no fucking ingredients on the hammer. But if you have an allergy and you pick it up and you're touching it, like it actually messes with you. So anyways, be careful about spooning your eyelids. That's all I'm saying. Scoop out your eyes. Yeah, it's my, it's my yogurt spoon. Yeah, no, I eat with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, Tyler, you can stay on you can stay on YouTube. It's fine. Your 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 place on YouTube is now iconic. What what is this? What is this? What's what what is instructions what is this? unclear? Replace what my eye with what a is, spoon. What is what is this? What is this? What what it, what are you doing? What is this? What it, what is going on? Are you okay? No, What's, I'm what, not. What is this? I'm not. Finally beat the Legend of Zelda a Twilight Princess Rando I've been working on later went later than expected. I should start heading to bed. Thank you so much again for the raid ninja. I really appreciate it. Have a good night. Have a good night, everybody. Also, hi Wolf, how are you? Welcome in. Anyways, that's my story. If you guys have any fun, weird stories, feel free to share it. Especially if it results in a funny accident like that. I'm like, why are my eyes so inflamed? Fucking spoons. This is why you should never follow trends. Heaven sent holiday kitty childhood dark strawberry flower. How about, how about, how about flower, flower. Destiny cage, excitement, romance, nightgown, vacation, playground, sugar, cheer, nightgown. So far, Selena has come from her lumberjack roots to now dining exclusively with gold spoons. Yeah. I did like it. It worked really well for my mascara. I just need to find spoons that don't have fucking nickel in them. I once jumped on a rusty 10 inch nail, not intentionally. It was pretty funny in hindsight. Use a silver spoon. Yeah, please send a pure gold or a pure silver spoon to my PO box. I would greatly appreciate it. My eyes would appreciate it. Thank you. Aura, frightening, anxiety, hopeless, breathe, clumsy, aura, passion, mouse. Mouse, hopeless, anxiety, fun, breathe, frightening. Clumsy? Sure, I'm pretty clumsy. I like rusty spoons, Savannah. I like rusty spoons. Thank you guys for the hype train. I appreciate it. We have 45, 44 seconds left. This is like our third hype train. We had a level 10 one and then a level eight one. We're close to finishing a level three one. We're five away, 35 seconds or five subs away from 90 subs for the day. 90, stop, I will not. I will not until I get my 90. No, I'm just kidding. I'm so, pop you so happy you did the voice and unsettled at the same time. It was right, yeah. I like rusty spoons. Kids don't know uh, the great internet content that they missed. Yeah, like rusty spoons or uh, llamas with hats. That kills I people. I like to caress rusty spoons. 
Thank you, mom. Thank you. Thank you guys for the hype chain. I appreciate it. Thank you. Parfait spinning, twirl, treasure, hurt, flee, eternity. Let's do eternity. Melancholy, dream, determination, forgive, depression, whirlwind, fester. I was gonna pick melancholy originally. Unrestrained, disown, philosophy, incapable, party, defeat, sunny, peaceful, scars. Mm, I don't know. Unrestrained? Is that kind of like is it, would would you is that a good way of describing you guys, you think? Oh my god, that's an adorable fucking emote. Hold on, let me hover. Oh my god, that is so cute. Hi surprise bees, how are you? I got one of those flat thumbtacks stuck in my heel, and it took me a few minutes before I figured out there was a tapping sound. <gasps> you know what? Your heel is pretty callousy. You can shave like an inch of that off. I don't I don't blame you. Hi Vermouth, how are you? Thank you so much for the bits earlier. I appreciate you. Let's do unrestrained. Massacre, skirt, nibble, boop, lucky, fireflies, journey, ambient. Variance, boop. I was gonna pick boop last time. Let's do boop this time. Are we making good progress? How far into the game are we? Do you think we're like halfway? Do you think we're like half, don't answer that. We've been playing this for like three hours and this is how far we are. I'm just here for the five badge, Dan. Holy shit, Dan, can you please? Five badges? Does who, okay, I need everybody that's even the lurkers. I'm not gonna call you out. I need, I need to see your badges. Who has, who has five badges? Speak now. It took forever reading it out loud, right? Oh, Kyle. Okay, it's so for Kyle and Dan. You're about 1.5 hours out of 14 hours. Holy shit. Fave only has four badges. Has it been the same classroom the entire time? Yeah, but we've like gone home and had another day. Dan has six on my screen. Holy shit, why does Dan have six? We don't need no stinking badges, right? Eight, thank you. Okay, so nobody else has, has, has five badges, huh? Just, just Kyle and Dan. Hmm. Interesting, very interesting. How many do I have? Bam. I knew how many I had, I just wanted to flex it. We don't need no thought control. Five, thank you, five. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've got a little bit more, uh, I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Saluwu. Uh, yo, sa Sayori, Sayori. So you Twitch can show more than three. Yeah, but it's like a BTTV and FFZ thing and Hi, Ultima. I don't know how many badges, I have two. Two. Yo, Sayori, looks like you're in a good mood today. Ihihi, I'm just, uh, I'm still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see, that's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood, but I guess it's always the simple things with you anyways. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Kyle, if you're here, thanks for the sub. And Selena, happy Valentine's Day. Much love and hugs to you. Thank you so much, Devin Sub Zero. I appreciate that. Happy Valentine's Day. No dark sar sarcasm in the classroom, right? Hi, Hairless. That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Hey, why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Oh, Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. Oh my God, guys, if I'm allergic to nickel and putting it against my skin has been causing skin allergies, what is it doing when I'm eating from it?
Seriously, is there like, are there silver and gold cutlery? Don't put nipples against Selena's skin, got it. No, 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 you can place your nipples on me. Low blood pressure, guys, dude, what was my blood pressure? I shared it with you guys yesterday when I went to the pharmacy to check it. What was it? I have a picture of it. My blood pressure is 87 over 52. I'm basically dead. My pulse is 58. 87 over 52. Have I slowly been getting nickel poisoning? Is that why you're always pooping? Maybe it's the headaches. Guys, can you actually buy like gold or silver? Spoons or like cutlery? You can, right? You could probably buy like a few hundred dollars. Are you craving brains? I think I am. Should I put it on my throne? Help Selena from dying. Gold is too soft for cutlery, please. Are you chewing on your cutlery? No, but I mean, putting it against my skin is causing allergies. That's like my mom's BP and she has heart failure. Yeah, I have, I have a really low, low heart rate, I do. It's still, I think it's still better than having high, high, high blood pressure or high, high, you know what I mean. Athletes can get down to like 40 though. It just means your body is more efficient, either weak or more efficient. Just switch to only eating with chopstick. I should get some. Is nickel the poisoning for Zoomers? Maybe. Well, it's called silverware for a reason. I thought I had silverware. I thought I fucking had silverware. But that's holding it for a long time with the most sensitive skin on your body. But I mean, you don't think the inside of your mouth is sensitive or like the inside of your body? That's like the most sacred thing in this flesh temple. Maybe try plastic. Nah, I'm too vegan for that. Maybe just eat with chopstick. It's better for you. I don't own chopsticks. I should get them. When I was super heavily into cycling, I think my heart rate was probably the size of a, a horse and my resting heart rate was like 52. Yeah, your heart was the size of a horse. Inside has a saliva buffer. Okay, well, as long as I haven't been slowly poisoning myself with nickel. Paris Olympics are only six months. Maybe it's not too late to qualify for the marathon, right? Yeah, the tongue is very sensitive. Thank you, Fave, I'll look into it. I feel like if you ate off gold spoons, even if it was for allergies, people would be so judgy. This is why I don't eat in front of people. This is why I literally eat off camera. Love spicy pad thai, but doesn't have chopsticks. Shake my head. I know, guys, I've been trying to get like a nice set of chopsticks. Try living the spoonless lifestyle for two weeks and see. Damn, what if it's like, what if it's like, what if it's doing something to me? I'm like freaking out. The nickel will slowly cause you to mutate over time. It will either give you great superpowers or kill you. I guess the risk reward is up to you to decide. <sighs> you can get titanium cutlery. It's made for camping, backpacking because it's extremely lightweight and durable. It's a bit expensive, but maybe worth it. Snow Peak is worth it. I'm freaking myself out, guys. Snow Peak. Unless you're swallowing nickel from your silverware, you're fine. I mean, I might be. Anyways, sorry, I got a little, I got a little freaked out there. They make bamboo cutlery too, that sounds nice. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto your desk. Just eat with your fingers, thank you. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought me a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I can lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry, and so that leaves the, the one option. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. A, eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is uh, in her book, as always. I wasn't listening or anything. It's It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Salubu to let me borrow some money. That's, don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should probably only buy what you can responsibly afford. Always hungry? Preggers? Are you pregante? More like I'm always thirsty. Yeah, seriously. Frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is far enough retro is fair enough retribution. Did I just I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. 
I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... there's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Still, coming from you, Sayori. Um... Prigante? Prigor... <laughs> I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But... You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes, so I had to trick Nasuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Oh! Get out! What was a, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is it? Is this a miracle? Is this how baby formed? Mm-hmm, Bubby, sorry, Bubby. It's because I paid my restitution, retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. Natsuki, that's so nice of you, I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie, jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Sayori suddenly claps her, clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. You're going, uh, you're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, yours looks, yours look really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this with me. Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um... Saria suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, did you seriously just do that? Uh, I, the mouthful Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Did she, did, did she just steal her cookie? Did she just... Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori a... <coughs> excuse me. Hot. One bite, just one bite. After, after Zoomers, there is going to be a generation whose sense of humor is based on actual witty, witty remarks and they will think Millennials and Zoomers are total psychopaths laughing at literally just misspellings of things, right? Why are you mad? It's just a cookie. A single bite of a cookie. Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just has something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. You don't think she... she has a... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Whoa. I have not played... I don't think we've played any visual novels, have we? The closest game that I've played to this that is similar in terms of the boxes coming up at the bottom of the screen that I have to read is Undertale. Right? Have we played visual? Oh, we played, uh, did we play Slay the Princess? We played the Slay the Princess demo. That was like a choose your own adventure visual novel kind of type thing, right? Is Emily away a visual novel? Yes, yeah, Emily is away a visual novel. Dream Daddy Simulator? Oh yeah, we did do one stream of Dream Daddy Simulator, yeah. Dream Daddy. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Ace Attorney. Yeah, I've never played that, but... Detroit Become Human? There's no way Detroit Become Human is... a visual novel. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Really? Hi, Cliché. How are you? Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. There you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Hey, Monica chose the club over her boyfriend. After all, you're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Uh, that makes no sense of time. Oh no, does she have depression? Is this where it comes in? You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing the piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Oh, I, I don't really. I kind of just started recently, haha. <laughs> I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Uh, Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! 
That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it, says Saluwu. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Saluwu. Monica smiles sweetly, smiles sweetly. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry, I've been practicing a whole lot recently. Selena is so cynical about this game. Me well, listen, I've just been Serenity Forge themselves came by and said, Selena, I hope to God you are ready for this dark, dark mess. Okay. Literally their words in chat. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischief es I choose to leave out Sayori's mischief es es escapade. But we did have, we did have the, we did have Chris from Serenity Forge stop by. That is true. Although he didn't say anything about it, but he's just said, thank you so much for playing our game. Yeah, no, that's... Clearly there's nothing dark about this game. No, I, 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 I completely agree. I choose to leave Sayori's mischievous, mischievous escapade out of this. I'm sure Nutsaki will end up complaining to her anyways. Selena has heard all the stories about how crazy it gets. If you played it back when it came out and nobody knew anything about it, it was way crazier. Yeah, I can imagine. It looks like everyone has already settled down. What is this actually? My God, what is that anime that gets really dark that I watched recently? Not recently, maybe like six months ago or a year ago. Gra not Grave of Firefly, oh God. Pupa, Chrysalis. I watched it with Matt, I completely forget what it was called. No, not One Piece. It wasn't that, I don't think it was like super popular. Let me message. I'm so curious. Cause it kind of reminds me of this. What, what was, what was that dark, weird anime we watched? Digimon, no, it wasn't Digimon. Oh yeah, when, uh, when the Casadas cry, when the Casadas, when, oh God. When they, when they cry, anime. Is that what it was called? The cicadas? Yeah, when the cicadas cry? When the cicadas cry. Yeah, I think that was it. It like looks super cute and uwu, but it's a Japanese murder mystery visual novel series. That's what it is. I purchased a special edition on sale of this game, but uh, for the Switch, but never got around to playing it. Nice. Ooh-woo. Ooh-woo. I don't get why everyone is so dark and morbid. Look at how bright and cheerful this game is. It's just a club room activity. Surely nothing can go wrong in this setting. Absolutely. I think that's it. Yeah, the Higur Higurashi when they cry. Yeah. The translation is supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be when the cicadas cry, but I don't know why they left out the, because there's cicadas in the intro. Khan, thank you for the, thank you for the 55 bits. Thank you. Yeah, we're, yeah, thank you. That's what it was. Yeah, when they cry. Yeah, mm hmm thank you. Chat figured it out. Sayuri somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though, hmm? Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of the literature club sounds too dense and intellectual, but it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Depression. Hmm, that doesn't solve the problem though. What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Ha, huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Well, I guess we could... Cupcakes? Ha, huh, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. 
Uh, ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works. Uh, that works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is her usual self, but therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Yo, this club is lit! Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Sorry, wait, actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does your school, does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that out loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. That's what I do best. I would join a napping club. Yeah, seriously. Did you guys have nap time in like kindergarten? That's the problem. What about you? You look out for me, you look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Hey, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's it's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayuri, it's written all over you. Hey, Sayuri glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all over here. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Oh! Oh! Not in kindergarten, but maybe in preschool. Can't remember so well. Yeah, guys, who remembers their birth? Like, type a one in chat if you... No touching. Are there people who claim to remember their birth? Are they wildly traumatized? <sighs> Vividly. Wow, holy shit. Zero. One, it was gross. One, I remember I was there. Eight. Uno. One. Thank you. One, it was moist. Thank you. Zero. One, I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember my conception. <laughs> There's always money in the banana stand! Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your- there's more than just your hair. Hi, French face! Look, your bow isn't straight either, and there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain with my fingers, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Hey, that's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. What's wrong with chat? I don't know, guys. Do you wanna... Do you wanna explain what's wrong with you? I remember an abrupt fall from six feet straight down like a baby giraffe being born. Vidor, are you actually a giraffe? Are you... Ask my therapist, no comment. Please, please go ahead. Please, you've been, asked a, you've been asked a serious question by Tech Ninja. I was born this way. What's right with not chat? I think Set of Words poses a really good question here. Protect Sayori Chan. I know she's so cute, right? She's so innocent. She's so innocent. Oh my God, you Kyle! You were the tall blonde with the near perfect body that farted in the bread section last night. I was the tall guy next to you that looked over and asked, was that you? You quickly replied, no, it wasn't me. You almost seemed insulted, I would ask. As the stink grew, you continued to deny your flatulence, but it was evident. I tried to get rid of the stench by waving two loaves of ciabatta bread. You proceeded to storm off in an angry manner. You are beautiful, and even if you are a liar and fart like a Clydesdale, I'd love to meet up. So that's what's wrong with you, huh? That's... Is that a 
Craigslist misconnections ad? No, no, that's no, that actually happened to me. Kyle, holy shit. Thank you so much for the 69.69. That's a, that's a frick ton of bits. You just usurped Khan, who is so close to 10,000. Clydesdale, Fargo, kind of hard. You know what Clydesdale is a breeding horse? Like, they are breeding horses. Did that happen to you just after you saved Nick, a baby Nick Cage? Yeah, that's such a beautiful story, right? Okay, story time. <laughs> story time. A Finn! Thank you for the raid. How are you? Can we just pretend that the raid is 69? Nice, everyone. Nice. 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 It might as well be. Like, it was there. It was basically there. Just pretend. Nice minus one. Yes. Toad, thank you so much for the 11 months. I appreciate it. Eight. Okay, there was a building that was on fire. Okay. And I went, I went in without even thinking about it. I went in, Whoa. I knew I needed to, I knew I needed to save whoever was in that building. There were screams to be heard. I went in there without thinking and I saved a baby from a burning building. That baby ended up growing up to be Nicolas Cage. <laughs> I feel like that every time I tell the story, it gets worse. That baby grew up to be Nicolas Cage, and that's how we know each other. That's how we know each other. Thank you so much, Afin. How did you find us? How did you hear about us? Dire is run by a writer, director, and comedian, San Deep uh, Park. Hold on, wait, let me click on your page. Do -do 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 run by a writer, director, and comedian, San Deep uh, Par Park? Park? All we care about is comedy and gaming, and also gaming and comedy. <laughs> Sometimes, com gaming D. This is great. No, this is this is this is good. This is worth a follow. I get I you're I get it. Look, I get it. Look, I get it. Hi D man, how are you? Stu Toad, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate eight bit D recommended D. Dee is freaking amazing. I had the pleasure of uh, meeting her at PAX. Comedy here of all places? Pfft. No, we're not, we're not very funny here. No. No. Right, guys? Sandy from the Guild Felicia Day's show. <gasps> what? Uh. What? Oh yeah, we have the please laugh sign. Sorry, yeah, there you go. You didn't see it. Welcome in, Raiders. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> the comedy corner. Uh, played a Zabu in the guild. No fucking I way. Are you kidding? lot of Are you kidding me? That is so cool. I can't read. That's okay. Me too. That is really, really cool. Tech Ninja, thank you so much for the milk bits. <laughs> Toad, holy shit. Thank you for gifting six months of a tier one sub to FN. Ah, what do we have here? Please don't laugh a at Nicolas Cage. Stream, right? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys are wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, everybody. I'm Selena. It's nice to meet you. When you're here, you're family. Okay, we got to come up with a slogan, guys. I think it's a fin, like, oh, effing, oh, like, fucking. It feels so good. To like, be f are you serious? Right, I, I don't know. I don't know what's so squeaky. happening. I can just but I, I hope it, you know, I hope it works out for you, or sorry that it happened, or happy it happened for you, or whatever. Sorry that that happened to you. Look at my toe. I now realize that Selena has placed herself among the crazies from this game on the poll because she gives them a run for their money. When you're here, you're Post Malone. Toad, thank you for gifting out six months of us up to D. That's so kind of you. 
Oh no, we don't we don't know calm here. We don't. This chat doesn't know calm. We I only have one setting. We only have one setting, and that setting is. Play something, just anything. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, Coffee Gaming. Just literally, just. You want to put your dick in here? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Bald? Bald. Bald. Clark, thank you. Thank you, Clark. We knew what you wanted. It was more fun to have awkward silence. Thank you so much for the bits, guys. I pre Thank you. Truly. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. Yeah, we're playing a we're playing a game here. We're playing. We could have had it all. Oh, rolling in the deep. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. I'm sorry. What is this game? What? There is nothing rom more romantic than buttoning someone's blazer from the bottom. He's buttoning, not unbuttoning. No, but that shows care and kindness. And like, you know, he's he's commenting on her appearance and he's like, here, allow me to help you. You look a little disheveled. This is not TOS. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. If someone buttoned my blazer from the bottom, I'd be like, ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Ooh woo. I um I understand now why people like this video game. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? Because of, cause of the, the banana ramas. Because of the badonker donkers. Because of the ripper rappers. Because of the honker nonkers. Because of the, the, the able cables, you know? Because of the... Mm, daddy like kitty. Mm. Daddy want to pet the kitty. Mm. Yeah, because of her yuri yuris. I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Okay, this boy clearly doesn't understand anatomy though. He, he really doesn't. Do you think we can get my viewership up to 300 like in Baldur's Gate 3 by just staying on the scene? Let's just stay on it and like make eye contact with the camera. 
Should we zoom in even more? Should we? This is Looking a huge. you, sweet corn. The ooh. -woo. This is a huge trope in romance, anime, visual novels. The childhood friend that you end up shacking up with when you get old enough. Are you kidding? Or to be fair, Baldur's Gate 3 was naked. Yeah, which is almost, this is almost better because you have to use your imagination. Oh God, what have I become? Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Don't, don't say that out loud. Anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Ooh. It's not worth it at all. Sayuri hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. Sayuri puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. I was thinking how naughty it would be in like the 15th century for women to be reading and writing. Next level. Hi Bonesy, hi uh, Chioni. Hi Conjugate, why are people like this? What do you mean, horny? And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway, so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things, eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. I'm surprised there wasn't a quick time event for buttoning. Yeah, can you imagine you have to time the, the, the buttons? The buttoning? The button presses with the buttoning? Well, anyway, just to, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine, it's a deal. I guess we, uh, we really are better at taking care of each other than we were at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. With your giant personality. Massive personality and your loud, loud voice. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking this time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone, Monica, thank God you're here. Holy shit. I was... Hey, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Salubu, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to receive, retrieve her poem. How's the uh, okay doke uh, date night going? Oh, it's, um, I don't know, guys. What, what do you think? Who should I show my poem to first? I guess Natsuki. Are there people who just watched that happen? Yeah, 270 of them. You sickos. I think Selena wasn't actually saying personality. I don't understand. Hmm, well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yet Sayori's poem from yesterday, eh? You think so? Uh, yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength, but you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Ugh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way, if it weren't for me, you would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You could say we take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem here. 
Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing, singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. She's gr It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers, and I'm going to tell everyone. What do you guys think of the poem? So true, right? Spiders are cool, guys. Now if now if somebody likes silverfish, I would I would genuinely question their sanity. Ah uh, yeah, the transitive property to li of likes to hands. <laughs> Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, this message is pretty straightforward. The message is pretty straightforward in the poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies, and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone uh, would agree to the subject of this poem is just an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course, it's, uh, it's about how everyone thinks my, that doesn't matter, it could be anything. That poem sure is something, yeah. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure, something you're afraid of if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. I'm trying to think if I have one. Do you guys have weird hobbies that you're afraid to admit, but you're going to admit now so that I can, you know, talk about it live on stream for content? Hmm. You collect teeth. You uh, collect all of the hair, you save all of the hair from every one of your haircuts. You, you give money to a Canadian lady on the internet. Oh, who's that? Sarah McLaughlin? Sarah, shit, no wait, that's Chantal Crivy. I'm confusing people. Toe sniffing. To My name is Bria, to I'm 19 years old. And I'm addicted to eating sand. Just love the crunch. I like to cut cucumbers and sniff my fingers afterwards. Oh yeah, what about like the pit smell? What about the... I reckon you could farm silverfish until they are toe size, shoe sized, and then you can just eat them. You guys have any weird hobbies or shit like that? Pits smell better than crotch smelling. Well, better is subjective. You're a goddamn hero, Selena. Come on, you guys don't... I actually don't think I put on deodorant today. I love to work and having Twitch in the background is great. I also love my job. I do. Also, Khan, thank you. That officially brought you over 10,000 for the day. Seriously, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Ingest spiders while sleeping. Hmm. Listen, the pit smell is only after I shower, right? Yeah, to, ch to check. I think you know my weird cringe and uh, nerd hobbies already, Selena. Painting little plastic toy soldiers and collecting luxury cardboard rectangles. You collect, like, cardboard cutouts? Whoa, what will your coworkers think? I'll go up to them and do this. Something that you're afraid of if people find out they'd make fun of you or think less of you. Oh, magic cards, got it. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares uh, Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important, but I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I like drawing shibari of autonomy pra of an anatomy practice. Does that count shibari? What's that? Are magic cards cardboard though? They're like cardboard adjacent. 
I go to bookstores and dot the letters that refuse to recognize uh, reasonable fonts. Japanese bondage. Oh my god. Bing it. Yo, okay. I've I've seen that I follow I follow people on Instagram who do this. I didn't know there was a name. I just thought it was um sexy ropage. I'm like, oh, there's that there's that sexy ropage on my This is like this is like artistic. I love the way that this looks. This looks really, really cool. Holy shit, earthquake. Are you wait, wait, actually? or me discovering what this is, is causing the earthquake. It's super artistic, yeah, I'm always really impressed. It looks really good. I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, that definitely counts, doesn't it, right? I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow, so look forward to it. Hi, Elry. Who should I show my poem to next? Kyle, was there seriously an earthquake? I'm like, concerned. Oh my god, there actually was one? Holy shit. I was like, please type in chat. Who should I show my poem to next? Does that happen often where you are? Let's show it to Monica. Uh, it goes back centuries, Selena. Not that I would know anything about such things. I heard from a friend of mine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the 18 plus section in your Discord? No. 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 Shucks. <laughs> I go in there sometimes. I know what's up. I know what's up. You guys have your servers with your 18 plus little, little channels. I join the servers and you're like, man, Selena just joined to support. She's not going to look through these channels. Little do you know. Sexy ropage, it's a sophisticated craft. It is, I love sexy ropage. How's the writing going? All right, I guess, I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. I wouldn't count on that, you never know. Wanna share what you wrote today? Sure, here we go. I give my poem to Monica. All right, I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had uh, those sorts of things in common. Ah, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case, but maybe there was also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like you two really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. I wish we got to read the poems that we wrote. Hi, Ernesto. You sure you're not reading into it too much? I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayuri's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own, and you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. I totally, I, to, I totally don't browse shibari art just for the sake of it without actually drawing anything. What? I mean, who even said that? LMAO question mark, question mark, question mark. It's literally just the 20 words, words you pick. These girls are very kind. You're kidding. Milk, socks, explosion, melancholy. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, an endless, uh, cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, wave waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, turn like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. 
load me. I don't think I've seen cacophony written out ever. Cacophony. Okay, we're done. Hmm, it's even more abstract than your last one. Yeah, uh huh. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Cacophony. Choosing where and how you space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines uh, really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this a tip about writing? What am I even talking about? Uh, that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I played a vinyl on a pizza crust once and it went way too fast and flew off at high RPM and chopped me in half and I died. <laughs> oh fuck, guys, my eyes hurt from that spoon so fucking much. They're so, they're just so itchy. Guys, my eyes, I can't, I can't, they're so puffy. I just, I can't, I want to scratch them, but I can't. What does cacophony mean? Yeah, it's a nice word, eh? <sighs> the music track that plays for the final boss of Donkey Kong Country 2 is actually called Crocodile Cacophony. A harsh, discordant mixture of sounds or a phone made out of chocolate. Can you look up the word discordant, please, now? Thank you. Thank you. Who should I show my poem to next? She did the Canadian A thing. I do it all the time. <sighs> oh my goodness, this is so good, Saluwu A. I love it, especially after yesterday's poem. Ugh, you're too honest sometimes, Sayori. No, but really, I want to put this on my wall, can I? Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why, because I have no idea what I like either. Jeez, I'm sure Yuri's opinion has, has has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Asuki's. Are you sure you don't just like it because I wrote it? Hey, having tones that are displeasing and off tune. Okay, now look up the the definition for displeasing. Insulating an electrical cord that doesn't do its job. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Like Discord Kitten, but smaller and buggier. Okay, all right. Saving the best girl for last day. Masa, Masa. Oh, Masa. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I really am. Thank you so much. Well, I'm sure that's a part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Saluwu poem. And that makes it feel extra special, like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. I'm not very good at figuring out poems, if poems are good or bad. That's why I could just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I didn't know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh, why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Ugh. You want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're you'll, you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yes. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, 
A sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. That's adorable. Hi, Smimmy. I'm so happy Twitch gave me, gave you to me tonight. Oh, Paul Nomad, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. A sad poem that can help give a rain cloud a little hug and make it. Hey, Panda. They. And make a little happy rainbow. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Hey, is it? Maybe I'm get. Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Saluwu. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? But Hi, banana. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Oh, little balls here? of sunshine all rubbing stuff. together oh, like a here? bundle of kittens. I reach inside dream, right? with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it on a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and a bottle all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night more dreams friend after friend more bottles deeper and deeper my fingers go like exploring a dark cave discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies digging and digging scraping and scraping i blow dust off my bottle caps it doesn't feel like time elapsed my empty shelf could use some more my friends look through my locked front door finally all done i open up and in come my friends in they come in such a hurry do they want my bottles that much i frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other holding thumb out to reach and every friend each and every bottle but Every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something, but all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Oh my god, that was so good, Chad. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. Who did that? Fucking. Only happy thoughts here, Khan. Thank you for the one, 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 one. That was surprisingly great. Yeah, can we get a redo on that? Holy crap, says Silen Uwu. All things considered, that poem was messed. Yeah, did you like the spoken word poem beat? Thank you. Thank you. My formula. Oh my god, Begwan is my favorite Twitch global emote. If you guys didn't know that about me, fun Selena fact. Begwan is my favorite. Eminem, awfully quiet since the new Selena album dropped. No, I'm like, I'm feeling it though, you know? Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Wait, we're 20% of the way through, or you give my slam poetry a 20% out of 100? Yeah, Sayori seems like a very happy and healthy individual. I see nothing out of the ordinary here. Yeah, no, yeah. Is she, is she slamming down the bottle? Does she have, does she have an, does she have an alcohol? Does she, is she okay? Is she, hi, Shorky. Hi, how are you? Yeah, exclamation point trigger. Thank you, Panda. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself in this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you can keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. foreshadowing. Don't, don't tell me. Don't, 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 don't type anything. Don't type it. Don't say it. Sit on your hands. Don't do it. I feel like I would get paranoid. Nah, the building's very safe, Raga. I'm good. Plus I have all you guys here to, 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 you know, protect me, right? Ham shart. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a bad habit of uh, getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. 
But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Yo, did you, did you, did you manage to clip that whole thing? To make amends, sometimes my friends feel a certain... Oh my god, holy shit, you did! Did you? I'm featuring it right now. I'm featuring the clip. Thank you. Guys, you never know when a clip you make is gonna be one that I feature and then you become a clip champion. Seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm gonna live forever! Who should I show my poem to next? Oh, I don't know. After this is probably a good place to like... Right? After this, because holy shit, it's already 1121. Yeah, send that clip to the moon. Everybody click on it and sit through it. Let's see what you've written today. Oh, it's definitely Yuri, for sure. Mm, well done, Sel Seluwu. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. Hey, it, it's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, so don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poem to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little Ooh. more daring. Ooh, woo. metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like t like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. She just wants to pop her scalp open like a lid and go digging and scraping inside to find sparkles for all of her friends. That seems pretty good to me. Yeah, that was that was right. If it's taken literally, yeah. All right, Jesus Christ, that scared the shit. My ooh, -woo scared the shit out of you. <laughs> Try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader and see your mind. I'm very tired. It's a very intimate exercise. I see. That's certainly a certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly, Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. <coughs> the raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom, the bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife, the very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes I'm excited. Uh, or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement, a rush of blood. Cassock Pavlov Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Wait, is she the raccoon? Anyway, um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. Uh, I can see that it's a lot more metaphorical. GG's, I was the bread. Yuri, can I be the bread that you put in your mouth, please and thank you? I can be her raccoon. No, I'm pretty sure she's the raccoon, but if you want to be the bread, Masa, you got to get in fucking line. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right, it's a bit closer to my preferred writing style, using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's the sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh, that's funny. Didn't Atsuki also write something about that? Something about being ridiculed for a strange interest, eh? D she, she did? Yeah, she was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anyone. She... she's right. Hi, B. Larky, how are you? Uh, I mean, does she really feel that way? Sounds like you two have that in common. That's, well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies, but I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? 
Ah, uh, please don't tell her I said that. Uh, don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay, well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. Okay, everyone, says Monica. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned for today, so if everyone could come sit to the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. I spend so much time focusing on the reading that I need to remember to like look up at their expressions more. Do you guys ever feel that playing like visual novels? I need to really... Don't worry so much, we're going to keep it simple, okay? We need, uh, we won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Um, Monica, yeah, we're going to be having a pro poetry performance. Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Visual novels are watching subtitle movies or TV shows, right? Yeah, no, seriously. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. It's crazy, when I watch movie, I watch pretty much everything with subtitles, it, like literally everything, even if it's in English and I can understand it perfectly. Um, but when I watch movies not in English and I'm using subtitles, when I reflect on the movie later and I like call it back, I. I, I, I have memories of it being in English. It's very strange. I don't know if anyone else experiences that, but like I can watch like it like like it's fully in French or whatever and I'm and I'm and, and I had to read the English subtitles and then every time I recall it, I'm just like, no, that was that was that movie was in English, wasn't it? And like people have to remind me. They're like, no, 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 that movie was fully in French. And I was like, what the fuck? Isn't it weird that the brain does that? The day of this, the end of this day is about 20 minutes for the walkthrough, but you go through the dialogue faster. Oh my God, 20 more minutes? Are you serious? Okay, hold on, give me, give me one second. I just need to check something. Hold on. We're good, sorry. I watch everything with subs too. Me too! Kyle, please! Ghost, 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 ghost. It's like the Fifi Dobson song, Ghost. I'm typically of the opinion that brains are just weird. Isn't that the weird thing? It is. Completely agree, YouTube. That sounds like more of a playthrough than a walkthrough. So after you read this line, you're gonna hit the A button to continue. Is it Fifi or Fefe? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Fifi, but we can say Fefe. We can say Fefe. Do you want me to delete that biff? Are you good? Hi. Night, Selena. Good night, Zoe. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Okay, we got to speed through this because I have to commute. I have to commute and it's 1130. Sayori is putting it uh, on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. E -he -he -he. Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys, guys. I wish YouTube chat could come here so I could flirt with them. What? You YouTube, are you, do, are you hearing this? Holy shit. Holy shit. 
I was saying that uh, the walkthrough video is about 20 minutes, but you will probably be faster. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Uh, I understand where they're coming from. Uh, remember that Atsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. 30 minutes left on the meter before Selena's vehicle turns into a pumpkin. Yeah, it certainly is. If we start the event and put and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons and having fun. That's right. And if those reasons, and it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Masuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayuri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but it looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ooh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right, phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Ellipses. Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. Oh, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Foreshadowing. Nobody say anything. 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 Do they make a suicide pact? Nobody say anything. Nobody don't. Don't confirm or deny. Don't. Oh gosh, you'll be you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. Anything. Clark, you had one fucking job. Clark, I swear, Clark, I swear to God, Clark, Clark, I swear, you get your ass over here, Clark. <laughs> Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. No helping. Hate. <laughs> We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N no way. Oh my God. Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect it? How do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh, no, oh God, was there actually a spoiler? Oh my god. Yeah, but don't, don't spoil anything. The mods have the, the hot, fast fingers today. Don't worry, I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. Have they turned into raccoon tr furries today? Oh, no spoilers, just justice. <laughs> no, Clark, God, Clark is new, guys. We gotta be, we gotta, come on. Come on. I didn't spoil, but I did deserve that to be deleted. Okay, Clark, thank you so much. You're gonna fit right in. You're gonna fit, come to the front of the class. Come right here. Come right here. Sit on the Herman, Herman Miller chair. Thank you. Hot and fast fingers, you say. As soon as it left my mouth, I, I heard how sexy it sounded. I really did. Yeah. Uh, Monica flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before? Or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face. I don't understand. Finally, Monica finis finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. Ugh, thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next, says Yuri. Ugh, Yuri's all fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. 
The poem is full of twists and turns in its structures that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Holy shit, Yuri. Oh my god. It's not that we didn't want to applaud her, for we were so caught off guard that we must have forgotten. Uh, as we applaud, Yuri holds the palm to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the platform. This one's called My Meadow. Ugh. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori, it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Try not to think of it like you're reciting it to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself in front of a mirror or in your head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she uh, said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Wow. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. He he he, even Saluwu Silu, Silu liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Hey, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. Just imagine the audience naked. I mean, I already am, but you know what I mean. You go. You guys watch me. You know what? Just don't answer that. Don't. Don't. I just saw it's Tyler YouTube's lucky day. Trust me, you don't want to flirt with me. I'm a mental broken mess. Mentally broken. Oh, aren't we all? Aren't we all, Tyler from YouTube? Aren't we all? They might need a little more force behind them depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well. Uh, I, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. Then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay, now who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before Saluwu. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyways. Might as well let Saluwu lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki, it's fine, it's fine. Hi, Tyrannus, how are you? At least it's not naked with socks on. That's some real scandalous shit. Okay, who's naked but with socks on? Two things you don't discuss in chat, age and state of undress, right? <laughs> Unless like you're just wearing socks, then I kind of want to hear about that because that's funny. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time though. Yeah, maybe. All right then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called, it's called, why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting, says Monica. Mmph. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Foreshadowing. Don't type it in. Don't, don't, don't. I'm wearing socks, but can you guys guess where I'm wearing socks? On your fingers? Sorry, your fingers? Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. I'm not typing anything this time, you, get, you got it. Once she starts reciting the poem, her soul, her sour attitude disappears a little bit. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. Yeah, can we get, can we get selling jumps in chat? The cute selling jumps, like the cute, the, the, that one, what Twafo posted. What Twafo posted. It's Natsuki's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do this again. 
Ah, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so, well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? My secret hot girl trick is that I'm always wearing thick-ass socks under whatever frilly-looking stocking thing I have. That is so hot, Nataroma. That is so hot. Hot girl meaning thermal? No, I get it, yeah. Does anyone go sock shoe, sock shoe? Yeah, me, all the time. All the time. In fact, I do toe socks, toe shoes, and then toe socks, toe shoes on all in one foot. The other one is completely bare. So I can pick things up and shake people's hands. I'll be making pamphlets. So let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. <laughs> Sorry. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too, says Monica. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Is her skirt flopping up every time she does that? You know what? Don't answer that. Ah, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. She's happy to see us. Yeah, just wafting at us. Sorry. I can't wait, says Sayori. I can do this, I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I do my best to get through. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Monica, what about Yuri? What about... Ready to go, Sayor Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Ee hee hee hee. Jeez, guys, don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, um... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Salubu, you don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. Is the day almost done? Is the day, should I keep going? Should I? I walk home with Sayori once more. What do you mean once more? Like the final time? What do you? A minute maybe? Okay, thank you. Last scene, thank you, Kyle. Even though it's been only a few days, a lot of things have already changed, but today Sayori is a little bit quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ugh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I mean, sorry, fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? Hi, Kit. What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well... Should we save right here? Should we? I think we should save right here and just start it next time, honestly. I think I really need to think about this. I think I really need to think about this. Will it start us from here? Yuri has the biggest personality. Save comeback Thursday, bookend Valentine's Day with this choice. I honestly can't think of anything more incredible. And then the scene's pretty much almost done, right? Like we're right here at the end. Amazing, that's it. That's it. That's it, people. That's how you end a stream as a professional, okay? All right, how do I exit this thing? Exit. Exit DDLC. Now I wanna even, I wanna play this even though I know what happens. I watched someone play it years ago. Wait, something happens? 
Production really thought the pacing of this stream through. Yeah, thank you so much for Oh, it's just me. Nope, nothing happens. Okay. This will like definitely save, right? All right. You have a separate save from earlier? Yeah, I do, totally. I liked the part with the ominous undercurrent. Yeah, I like pausing things. I like pausing. What is this end thing that it just showed? Game deleted. What is this? What is this? Did this just dox me? What is this? What the hell is this? I'm scared. Login? This is your desktop. What? This is a terrible time to stop. Why is it a terrible time to stop? It's a, it's a cliffhanger. We got your BIOS. Oh my God, are you guys really? Well, that's it, I guess. That's it. YouTube says this is a terrible time to stop. I think stopping on a cliffhanger is literally the perfect time to stop. 